my god. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, mm. This is beautiful. Oh, baby. Love it. This is. Mm. Mwah. Thank you. Okay, um, waiter. If only they knew who I am and where I am from. <laughs> I have become Manti George. There's no going back now. Perhaps there's nothing wrong with who I was. No. Everything was wrong with it. forward ever. Backward never. So you want to spend the night with me? Mm. I hope you know it will cost you a fortune. Because I'm not a hooker. I have a boyfriend. I don't care what it will cost. Just say yes. I can't wait to have you in my arms. No, 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 Mandy. I want a definite answer from you right now. <sighs> okay, um, I'll get back to you on that, okay? Let me think about it. Wait a minute. Are you having the feeling that I can't pay your bills? Or is this your way of getting rid of me? Oh, no, 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 please don't go yet. Hello? <laughs> No, not at all. Um, it's not a way of getting rid of you. You know, I have to think and know if I want to commit such sin with you. All right, then. I have to go. Okay? Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> he said he can pay. That's what we're talking about. Money.
Dying? What? What is it, Kelly? What is it? Are you okay? Excuse me. Mandy. How? Like? <laughs> I'm sorry, but. I'm confused. Which Monday? This is serious. Please, Kelly, just calm down. Take a chill pill. Calm down. Please, calm down. Don't. Where are you? Okay, please do not hurt yourself. I'll see you pretty soon, okay? I'll see you soon. Cheating, Mandy, how? Kenny, Kenny, for how long have you been drinking? You don't understand. I love Mandy. I love her so much. I love her so, so, so much. I love her. I am not disputing that fact. I have to take this easy. You have to calm down, yes. You know, these things you're talking about, I cannot understand how Mandy would cheat on you just a month to your wedding. Like, I don't understand it. Don't tell me to calm down. Calm down and I am like this. You're telling me to calm down. My heart is on fire. I am hot. Do you know what it means to love? The woman I love so much is cheating on me. She's killing me. And you're telling me to calm down. Calm down. Hey. Cheating on you. You know, I'm confused. I'm confused because I, I can't I can't place my fingers around this thing you're saying. I can't understand what you're saying. Okay, friend, do you have something to prove? Something to just prove that cheating? How? Yes. I, I don't understand. Exactly. How? How will my own man demand it? Before licking with different men. Wow! Wow! So you won't understand it until I send you her nude pictures with different men. Different men. That's when you understand what this girl is doing behind me. That's when you understand how I am feeling now. What I am feeling. That's when you understand it. That's what. That's what. Nude pictures. What? Just... 
just two days ago. I need to talk to that bitch. Let's get. What? I need to talk to this girl. Like, are you. Mandy! Sit! What is this? How did you get this? Kelly. Oh, no. 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 I'm about to lose it. I'm about to lose a rich client. No. Excuse you? Did you just call a man you said yes to weeks ago? Client. Yes. <laughs> Wait, it, what demon has possessed you? Why would you let a good man love you? That's because I have never loved before. The only man I have loved is the one that put me on this path. All I wanted is to make money. Money. As much as I can. <laughs> no. <laughs> that will not happen. Let me tell you what will happen. You will keep losing love. Good men. Until your heart is turned into stone. And you become a beast. Oh, I am not a beast. I am not a beast. Stop it. Stop it. Please. Stop it. Do you know what you've just done? Do you understand what you've just done to a man that loves you? You just broke his heart. You embarrassed him right before his family. Excuse me? When are you going to put in all the money you've made and work hard to earn a living? A good living? When? <laughs> Did you just mention the work hard? Hmm? Did you just mention the work hard? Let me tell you, life doesn't reward hard work. What rewards? Oh, really? <laughs> really? Are you like are you serious right now? You call lying, cheating, deceiving people, living a fake life, a smart way of living? You call that smartness? All I wanted is to seize opportunities. That is all I wanted. All I ever wanted is to seize opportunities. Listen, let me ask you. How many people have made it simply by working hard? How many? Oh. I am a living proof that being smart pays. Oh, I see. <laughs> really? <laughs> Lizzie, what are you doing here? I want her to become my friend. Like, I don't. How? Now, darling, let me bring you back to reality. I know you. I know who you are. 100%. You are no daughter of one stupid ex god from anywhere that got your mother pregnant and ran away. Yes, are you shocked? Mm hmm. You shocked? Esther told me everything about you. You shocked? And I know about Billy G. Mm hmm. Just stop. I am not done, darling. Listen up. About your father. Your father was a poor man, a poor wretched farmer who tried his best to give you a good life before he died. And your mother? Oh, a poor woman who lives in a wretched chicken hole of a house. Thinking that, oh, yes, one day my daughter will come to me and say, Mommy, this is my husband, a good man to call your husband. And you are here living a useless life. Your name is not Mandy John. Your name is Amaka Obiora Okochi. That's your name. Stop it. Just stop it. You have no clue of what I've been through. 
you do not know what I have been through and how I have worked hard to have a better life. When you grew up with a silver spoon, <laughs> I grew up with abject poverty. It's as if poverty opened his mouth and swallowed me. You have no idea! You have no idea! And my darling, you are not the first, nor are you going to be the last that went through or that will still go through such circumstances. Okay? So, poverty is a thing of the mind. So many women out there went through a whole lot, more than what you just described. And they need, still living in good health, good affluence, because they may do what they had. In the right way, not IQ with being here, living a fake life and turning yourself to a devil. A shit devil. What is your problem? Object poverty turned my heart inside out. I experienced with no human to pass through in life. I do not want to ever go back to my past. Never. What I experienced in life is not, is not what any human being should go through in life. I do not want to go back to my past. Never. We are so poor that we could not afford a coffin to bury my father. He was buried in plantain leaves. The villagers helped us bury him because his decomposing body posed a health hazard to all. There was no ceremony or song for the death of his burial. Even the ground on which he was laid did not know his name because he was poor. Just because you know my past of abject poverty does not mean you understand what it means experience it on a daily for years. Listen, I am a very blunt person. I do not pretend. I'm only trying to make you understand. Are you a dream of love? Oh, I dream of love. 
is how to escape from poverty. What if I marry one of these men and he loses his weight? I will be forced to go back to Fofat. Mandy. Amaka. I sincerely think you should visit a psychologist. Because your mind, your heart, Everything is bent. And what makes you think that those men you date will ever be poor in life? Isn't it glaring? You get it wrong. Anyone can lose his or her weight. My play with this man redeemed me. My nightmare. Why you? Why you remember the man? He lost your virginity too. With smile. Live my mind with regrets. Okay. Since you want to lecture me on men and love, let me ask you. Do you know what it means? To live under a leaky roof. Do you know what it means to eat wood worms for meat? Have you ever eaten tapioca and coconut for food? Have you ever been cold and hungry? But all you wish for is dead. That was my life. That was my life before I came into this city. So cold. I don't know how long I can take this. Amaka. Amaka, we have seen the worst. This is nothing. You know, it will stop. Mama, I've never experienced this lengthy Amaka in my life. Please, I wish God would just take it back. No one has God to take back his blessing. In a Sichineke, we are and God's here. And I know it is a seasonal something. When it is its time, it will come. And when it is over, it will go. You know, it is for our own advantage. As there is too much Hamatan this year. Next year, Kurusi, Juebenine, I tell you, Kurusi. The only reason we are suffering it this much. Is because of the condition of our house. Look at everywhere is open. Uh, the roof is no more good. So this is the problem. But don't worry. 
we can't kill ourselves. You know? I just pray I don't catch pneumonia, Mama. Good. God forbid. You will not catch it. Enugo, don't worry, oh. It will be over. We need to go and sleep. And before that, we have to pray. So cover your head, oh, let us pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Almighty Father, we thank you. Nemo. Oh, yo, yo. Are you tired? Eh? See, eh? We need this money from Mazioko of our upkeep. Eh? Stay strong now. Bikonu. We've not even started. Eh? Mama, I'm tired now. We need to eat something. You know, last night we did not even sleep very well because of that cold. Eh? I'm already tired. Let's eat some so we'll be strong and keep working. I know. I know you need to eat. You know, eh? I kept the food for us to eat it later in the day. Eh? I am timing our eating so that it will serve us uh, for the most part of the day. Eh, no? Oh, God, have mercy on me. I'm going to keep Have mercy on you. When you begin to shout like this, it will be as if I, I am maltreating my own child. Eh? I don't like it when you are doing this. Okay, fine. Go to the flask and take very little. Oh, so that later in the day we eat the remaining. And what make we fail or you can't go? Mama, what's first? Let me eat. Mama. Mama, there's no food here. Oh. Papa, who ate our food? Mama, there's no food here. There's, there's no food. Who ate our food? Maka, what is wrong with you? Is this not food? I don't need it here. Mama, this thing is not food now. Nah. This thing is just ordinary abacha, Mama. Can't you see? It's abacha. It's not food. I don't want this your drama. You know, no? I don't want your drama at all. Not in this family. Don't, don't even start. Let me tell you something about food. Food is anything that will enter your stomach. Fill it up and uh, without any problem. That is food and this is it. Mama, you said we were going to eat fufu now and a goosey soup that you've already made. Why this thing now? Yes, I said so. Hey, Kurumiya, you know what? I reserved fufu for our night food. Eh? It's for our night food. Let me tell you, I can leave you to go hungry morning, afternoon. But not in the night. If you go hungry in the night, you will understand why I'm doing this. Eh? Because eat this. You eh, know? Try and put something in the stomach, you know. Oh, Yoko, Yoko, um, please. When we go in the night, you will eat. Oh, Man, this thing cannot even Because uh, if, if, if you even want to eat it, Fini, don't worry. Finish it. But that fufu will be in the night. Eh? So that you will be strong sleeping on, the, on, on your bed. You know? Okay. Nemo, Biko, oh. You know? Mama Mugode, this is your hair. You need to barb it though. Eh? It's becoming too bad. You need to go baba. Eh? No more. Huh? It, oh. <laughs> Give me one uh, computer. Let me. Um, one. Mama, so you really want to eat though? <laughs> Why are you not the one to get to my own? <laughs> now let me go back. Um, Amaka. Yes, Mama. Why are you not eating? 
We are you not the one crying for food in the farm? Mama, we'll eat later. This book is so interesting. Amaka. Yes, Mama. How many times will I tell you that eating late in the night is not good? Now keep the book and eat. After eating, you read. You know, I know ya. But what what I'm saying so? Also not, not, not interesting. Uh -huh. Mama, that reminds me. Whose farm are we working on tomorrow? We are not working on anyone's farm. How then are we going to feed? Um, when I went to Mazio Koro's house to collect the money for the job we did for him, the wife asked me to sell her gallons of uh, palm oil at Enkwa Market tomorrow. She said whatever profit I make, she will pay me from it. Uh -huh. So that's where we will eat from. Mm -hmm. Then I know ya. Yes, Mama. I'm glad you eat. Yen nigi. Mama, how did the sales go? <laughs> ne. It was perfect. Mm -hmm. I sold all the gallons of palm oil I went to the market to it. You don't mean it. Yes, I have a little bit of kacha kacha. When I took the money to uh, Mrs. Sokoro, she shouted. She should. She was so joyful <laughs> she, that she even paid me more than I deserve. <laughs> I'm telling you. Mama. <laughs> As soon as you left the market, I was praying to God to give you a kachawa in the market. Eh, mama. God really answered your prayer. I can see. <laughs> I can see, mama. Look at all these things. Ah, mama, you bought foreign rice. <laughs> foreign rice, mama. <laughs> <laughs> this is the share of um, a, a water binu Dago gave to us. Oh, really? Yes, he returned from abroad. Yes, this rice is uh, his way of looking uh, uh, out for the helpless. Oh, mama. Mm. Hey, rice. Hey, God. Mama, for rice. Hey, yo. Oh, this is like Christmas, so it has actually been long. I will have this kind of good thing. Ah. Hey, let's I forget. There's this room I had in the market. What? Uh, they said that um, government is trying to introduce free evening school in this village. Evening school? Yes, for those whose parents could not um, afford to send to school. Really? Yes. Ah, Mama, God has really remembered us. <laughs> I cannot wait to attend this evening school, even if it's the next 10 years. Mama, I must attend to that school. <laughs> I must. The way I heard it. Uh -huh. It will be something soon. Please, oh. Eh, it will Please, not take long. Very soon. I, in fact, very soon. Free oh. evening school will become a reality in hey, this village. Hey, God. <laughs> ah, Mama, I've really missed going to school. Ever oh. since Papa died, I dropped out of school. Ah. Don't worry. Mama, I can't wait. Don't remember you. it, oh. Let me go back to this photo, guys. Mama, where am I going to? So, all, uh, 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 really? apart from all this, this, is, this foreign rice is what you... Nemo, Ma. make good use of this opportunity and do not allow anybody to talk you out of it. At least you can see how you are doing now. Eh? You are more enlightened now than before. Since you are attending this school, you see the difference between you that time and now. It's true, Mama. I don't know what I'm saying. I'd rather die than to allow anyone make me discontinue attending this evening school. You know, there's this talk in this village against uh, this free evening school. People are no more excited as they used to be uh, uh, years back when this school started. Some proud parents don't want to register their children. So please, I want you to stand your ground. You will see light 
at the end of this tunnel. Yes, Mama, I will stand my ground. Mama, I've heard so many things, so many things. All I know is that this is an opportunity for me to fulfill my dream of becoming a woman of substance. Thank Mama, you. Mama, what are we? We, we are, are super, super poor. poor. We, we wear, wear our, our badge with, with pride. pride. My turning point came through, Emeka. My English teacher at my evening school in my village. Let me tell you what this evening class means to you. It is an opportunity for you to have that which you never had. Opportunity is the difference between the rich and the poor. You have to train your mind to identify an opportunity when it comes and you have to grab it with your both hands. Having the privilege to attend this evening class it's an opportunity for you all. So ignore those fools who say there is no need of this evening class. In all your lives, you have been told a lie. Do you know what that lie is? No, sir. I will tell you. The lie is that you will make it in life when you work so hard. I was told the same lie, but that is not true. Life does not reward hard work. Life rewards smartness. So, you are smart by taking advantage of this evening class. I have to tell you once more, do not be discouraged. Hold on to it and continue. I wish you all the best. Take care. Thank you. But we have been poor because we have been working hard and not smart. God, this is sad. I swear, I will work smart. I will seize every opportunity I can never end up like my parents never Amaka Mama why are you still up up till this hour of the night I'm not joking 
Have you forgotten the three farms we have to weed tomorrow morning? Also, come and lie down and sleep. I'm coming, Mama. Uh, I shouldn't have forgotten your name because uh, you made an impression on me yesterday. My name is Amaka Okochi. Oh yes, yes, <laughs> you room. That's right, Amaka Okochi. You're welcome. Uh, I don't know if my time is deceiving me, but it's not your time for evening class. No, sir. I'm, I'm not here for your pink classes, sir. Sir, please. I want you to explain something to me. Okay. Yesterday, you said something about working hard and working smart. That made an impression on me. I've never heard those words before. Uh, I... I shouldn't keep out a beautiful angel like you standing outside here. Uh, if you won't mind, can you come in so I can explain to you in a very relaxed manner? Okay, sir. All right. Come right in. Uh, so, what aspect of my pep talk of yesterday do you need me to explain deeper for you? All my life, I've never heard anyone speak lightly about hard work. However, what you said about working smart makes sense to me. I am from possibly the poorest family in this village. My father worked hard all his life and died poor. My mother is still working hard and I'm sure she's surely going to die poor. I am working hard now and I don't think I am better than them. School, sir, please. I want you to explain to me what you mean by working smart. I will explain it to you. But in explaining it, I will like to demonstrate it. Because while demonstrating it, I'll be able to drive home my point. Working smart is the ability for you to Recognize opportunities and grab them with both hands when it comes your way. Amaka. Sir. Opportunity comes our way every day. At the same time, there are forces that try to oppose us from recognizing or rather achieving those opportunities. Some of the forces are one, fear, two, people's opinion, three, lack of courage, four, blindness. Blindness is the inability for us to see potentials and opportunities when they come our way. I get you, sir. No. You don't. Hold on, I'm coming.
This is 10,000 Naira. Have you ever seen or touched this kind of money in your life? Never, sir. Now, this money is a great opportunity. This money can become yours if only you can take the advantage I will present before you. What is the opportunity, sir? I want you to take off your clothes so I can see what you have on your chest. No, sir, it's not right. You see? You do not understand what I've been talking about. A few minutes ago, I told you about opportunity and forces. Forces are those things that will prevent you from achieving those things you ought to achieve. Fear and lack of courage is depriving you from making this money yours. I didn't ask to have a carnal knowledge of you. All I ask is for you to take off your clothes so I can see what you have there. Think and take away fear from your mind. I will never do anything nasty to you. If I try that, you can raise an alarm and people will hear your voice. Okay, you can come and see it, sir. No. I won't. You still didn't get the point. In life, when opportunities come, you have to be smart. You have to be brave. You have to be ruthless. You have to be courageous to grab such opportunities with both hands. If you do not grab it, Others we do so. Others will grab it and you will lose it all. Have you heard that saying that says, Fortune favors the brave? No, sir, I've never heard of that. My request was for you to take off these clothes. Let me behold what you have there. I won't do it for you. Take off the brow. Got it.
Amaka. Mama. Where did you get money to buy all these? Because I know for sure that if we work for the whole year, we wouldn't afford all these. He said, Bye, where would they go? Mama, I've learned a new way to work. We got it wrong all this while. I, I, I don't understand. What you are just saying is scattering my head. He's in Agasam. Amaka. Mama. Ibuhebeko. Mama no. Amaka to chukam na chuki. Ibuhebeko agada. Are you now selling yourself to men? No, Mama. No, I'm not selling myself to men. Mama, see. All we have been doing has been working hard. Instead of seizing opportunities that could have bettered our lives. Mama, let me ask you something. What have we achieved all this while we've been working hard? Nothing. I've learned to work smart. I now know that fortune favors the brave. I still don't get it. KV mean? What do you mean by fortune favors the brave? Amaka? Mama? Are you now planning to join a robbery gang? No, Mama. That is not working smart. Mama. Mama, with what I know now, within a short while, I'll be able to get you a phone. Change this leaking roof, furnish this house, and someday build you a new house. Hmm. Hey, Hakwamo. All these things you mentioned now, you will do them for me. Yes, Mama. Mwa. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh. But let me ask you. Please, where did you get? Uh, 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 the knowledge of what you have been referring to? Um, I learned them from my evening classes. Evening classes? Evening classes? Yes, Mama. Hey! 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 Now you are talking. You want to go with Hey! Hey! My mind is relaxed now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I am very happy. Okay, for me, if you are going to go, when then I see if I do go, light is coming. Yes, Mama. Yeah? I am glad you we are not discouraged like others that dropped out from that evening school. Yeah? You are so encouraged till today. Now the light is coming. Never. <laughs> ah, we say, we say. Don't worry. What are we? We are super, super poor. poor. We wear our badge with pride. Oh, yeah. So, Mama, I know you like this one. <laughs> this thing else. Mama, good morning. Come back here. Where are you going to Amaka? Uh, eh? Are you not joining me in the farm? Mama, I'm coming. I want to get some books from the English teacher. Can't you wait? In the evening you get it. Eh? You know how hot the weather used to be these days. Let's make good use of this morning weather. Mama, Mama, don't worry. I will join you before you know it. I have to get this book so that I can read it a bit when I get back from the farm before going for evening lessons. Mama, don't worry. I'm coming, okay? I will join you. Hey, man, I'll swap with your cookies, okay? Uh, let it not be you want to leave me to do the whole job, only me. Uh, uh, Mama, you know I cannot leave you to do that now. Mama, I just want to get the books. I'm coming, Mama. Don't worry.
O yüzden. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Don't tell me you're still sleeping by this time of the day. Ah, uh, I was reading when you knocked. You know, because I take you people on evening classes, I do my reading early in the morning. What are you doing here early this morning? You're reading and you're pressing your phone. City people and phone. I wish I knew how to press phone. Are you not going to allow me inside? I take it you want to learn how to operate a phone. Yes, I really do. Not knowing how to operate a phone makes me ashamed of myself. Oh, come on. You don't need to be ashamed of yourself because you don't know how to operate a phone. Right, let me guide you on the primary areas on how to operate a phone, okay? Take a look at this. If you want to dial someone's number, hmm, you come to this place, Say, for example, the person's number is 080-5248-5202. This is the send button you send. Okay? okay? And so, this is the camera. Okay. If you want to take a picture, you take it from here. When you come close, let me take a picture of us. <laughs> All right? This is called selfie. Okay. Yeah. You know, we'll take it this way. Ah. Take a look at it. Is that me? This is us. Wow, I'm ah. pretty. You. <laughs> of course, you are pretty. Even the river goddess will be so jealous of you. <laughs> okay, have it. I want you to snap us. No, I'm, I'm not sure I can snap you, sir. Give it a try. All right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hold it. This is the camera. I will come close, focus it, focus, raise it up. Okay. I'll allow it to get focused, okay? Okay. okay. Fine, now, do it right now. Selfie, come close, come close, okay? Wow! <laughs> you see? I did this. Of course. Jeez, just snapped you now. You no, know, I know you can do it. Hmm? Um, I wish I have a phone I can operate to it so that I can learn very fast. Ah, I have an old phone that I'm not making use of for now, and uh, I have a new SIM card inside. So I'll give you the phone and the new SIM card. So whenever you're able to buy a new SIM card, you give me back mine. Take the old phone and your new SIM card. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you're you, welcome. Sir. You're Thank welcome. You. Who is there? Hold on, let me know who's at the door. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, Chica. How are you? I'm fine, are you? Very well. My mom asked me to bring this to you. It's your mom? Whoa. So thoughtful of her. Say my regards to her, okay? okay. I'm away going, I will stop over to thank her. Okay. All right then. Okay, sir. Thank Bye -bye. you. All right then. Take care. Bye. Yeah. Uh, uh, Amaka, I will go back to my studies. You've not told me why you're here early this morning. Thank you. Um, I have been thinking about our lessons and having shown you my body. What do you have in mind? 
I don't know much about life beyond the boundaries of this village. We don't even have a radio in my house. I love you to help me with books, magazines, newspapers, so I can know more about the people in the city and their way of life. Amaka, I'm so proud of you. Thank you, sir. I sincerely appreciate your quest for more knowledge. I'll give you some magazines and uh, some books. But please, please make sure you return them to me without a scratch on them. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Is that all you can say? Can't you just give me a very deep kiss to appreciate me? Kiss is not available. <laughs> I want to hold on. Let me get you the phone and the magazine and the books, okay? Mama, <laughs> where are you going to? Looking for you, of course. I'm looking for you. Why? Are you done? So that was why you ran off with the excuse of going to collect uh, 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 the book you will read. Eh? Okay. What's wrong with your cookie this weekend? Onya na no The work is still hundred percent. They waiting for both of us to come and finish it. Mama. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. Wait, so come. Is this not a phone? Yes, Mama, it is. I know you soon asked me how I got it, but don't worry, I'll tell you when we get home. Not only do the walls have ears, the trees do as well. I'll tell you when we get home. I see. Mama, let's go. You are doing wonders these days. Hey, am I? You are doing wonders these days. Yeah, let's go and go. Mama, give me. me. But Mama, I you didn't want take me to long. Finish no. the whole Getting used to the phone you gave to me. Today, I snapped my mom and I snapped myself. Yes, I did that selfie you taught me. Ah, Marka. Oh, please, I hope that I'm not calling that baby. Amaka, what are you still doing outside? Did you see it is night already? Huh? Have you seen it? The phone your English teacher gave to you. Have you seen the distraction it is causing between both of us? Eh? Amaka, you are my husband, though. You are my husband. You are my friend. You are my child, the only child I have. I have no communication with anybody. Eh? Now, phone is bringing distraction. You no more talk with me. You're always on phone. Is it fair? No, Mama, it's not fair. I'm sorry. Very soon the excitement of this phone will be off. I'm sorry, Mama. Please. Oh, yeah. Let's go inside. Let's go and sleep. Okay, Mama. Amaka. Mama. Ah, ah. What kind of book are you reading here? I'm not joking. Please come and help me finish the work. Get in here. 
When you get to the house, you read, or even in the night. Why should you be reading here? I'm sorry, Mama. Let's go. Um, Mama, have you been to the city before? Yeah. Okay, fine. Your father promised to take me to the city. But um, he couldn't fulfill it before he died. I will take you to the city someday. <laughs> Amaka, please, let's go clear the farm. But let me ask you, how do you think you can do it? Something your father could not do. Mama, don't worry how we do it. See, Mama, I have been reading so many things from the books and magazines my teacher gave to me, like this one. I've learned a lot about people in the city and their way of life. Mama, I wish I was born in the city. Hey, 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 Amaka, please. You like a lot of drama. Ibido. Uh, let me tell you. Don't even think about people in the city. When you are here, where you are not will be hungry in you. Don't even dream about city. Let me tell you the plain truth. Village girls are well trained more than the city girls. And village girls make better wives more than the city. So you have much advantage being here in the village. So don't dream about city. And I know. Where is your machete? Oh, I left it at the farm. Let's go, let's go. Come, 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 come. Let's go and finish it up. I can tell the brutal lesson you taught me about being smart hit home. However, I have been pondering about it so many nights. And it has challenged my sacred moral values. I am glad you understood everything that I taught you. You see, when opportunity comes, you have to be ready. Aside being ready, you have to be ruthless. You have to be smart. You have to be brave and courageous. So when you strike the first time, you have to get it without striking a second time. Something hit me when you asked me to undress before you. However, I saw the reward. It was far more than the time I've wasted all my life working hard. Now I want more. You want more? More of what? You are from the city, right? <sighs> Oh yes, I have lived in the city for the greater part of my life. As a matter of fact, I have my businesses in the city. Why did you ask? I want you to take me to the city. And if you do, I will offer you a great opportunity. <laughs> Are you using my own lesson against me? I'm afraid that's what I'm doing. What opportunity can you offer? No man has known me intimately. If you secure me a place in the city, you'll be the first to have canon knowledge of me. A few days ago, you were still uh, uh, happy about the evening lesson. Now you want to move to the city. Who do you know in the city? <laughs> what will you be eating there if you go? 
Amaka, you are getting me worried. Mama, no, so Mama, why are you worried? Eh? Okay, take a good look at me. Look at me. You gave birth to this pretty lady here. Let me ask you. In all honesty, what do you think this village holds for me? Nothing other than lack and poverty. This city is where the treasure is. That is where my prosperity lies. Mama, don't worry about what I will eat or drink. The people in this city, they do not eat their feces or drink their urine. I will eat what they eat. I can see that your mind is made up. I will not stop you. But I will ask you for one thing. Please, do not bring for me shame from the city. Don't go there and start their buhe buhe business. That is what I used to hear about them. They are good at it, you know. Please, no shame, no disgrace. And try and find yourself a suitable man for a husband who is going to take care of you when I'm gone. Uh -uh. Go where? Mama, you're not going anywhere. You remain here till I come back so you can eat the fruit of your labor. You won't go anywhere, Mama. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. I miss you, Mama. I will miss you, Mama. Mm. I want to ask you again, what did you tell them about me? I told them you're coming from the village. What? What should I have told them? Of course, you should be coming from somewhere. Hey, and my name? Amaka, of course, of course. What is wrong with you? Why, why will you tell them I'm coming from the village? Why will you tell them that? See, let me tell you. Now, you, you have to tell them something else. You have to tell them that um, I'm coming from Ghana. Yes, that I was in Ghana. I'm coming from Ghana and that I, 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 I lost my business to Frosters. Yes, and I'm back to Nigeria here because I, I need to find my bearing. That's what you should tell them. Why would you tell them I, 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 I came from the village? Look, I have already told them that you're coming from the village from the very first time I came to make payment for the house. Uh, okay, fine, no problem about that. See, you have to they, you have to change your words soon. You have to change your words. Tell them that it's another girl. That girl, that girl, that girl, that girl, that girl changed their mind. That this is another girl. I came from, from Ghana. Please, that's what you tell them. And listen, my name is no longer Amaka Okochi. I am Mandy George. Yes, Mandy George. You have your plans marshaled out already. Uh -huh. You taught me to be smart. Besides, I wanted to tell you about it last night, but we were too busy trying to look for another breast to replace mine. Shut up. Shut up. I was not looking for any breasts. Mm -hmm. Let's go. See, 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 see. This, is, this one is very important. Mandy George, don't forget the name, Mandy George. I'm not that village girl again, Mandy George. That's my name, let's go, let's go, let's go. All this for me to enjoy. All my life I have lived under a leaking roof. I have slept on a mat. Had it not been you, I would still be in the village within farms and eating tapioca and coconut. I want you to know that wherever I go to, no matter how far I go, no matter
matter where I go to, you will always have a place in my heart. Is that a hint of love for me? Please don't love me. Don't. I'm gonna hurt you. Please. I've never thought of love. All I think of is how to take myself and my mom out of the shock of poverty. Mandy, stop! Stop! I know what I picked up. I picked up love. I know you love me. Don't you? I know you do. Mandy, accept me. Let me love you. Let me prove to the whole world what you mean to me. I am ready to bring down the moon from the sky. Write your name boldly on it with a golden pen. Place it back in the sky just to tell the whole world what you mean to me. And I am ready to make you happy for the rest of your life. Okay, fine. I'm in love. But not with you. I'm in love with being rich. I'm in love with taking myself and my mom out of the shack of poverty. Manti, I know what you've been through. Of course I know. And I know what you're here in this city to do. I still love you regardless. I have slept with so many ladies in the past. But none of them touched my heart the way you did. My heart glued to you the very night we made love. I am regretting ever teaching you the things that I taught you. No, 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 don't misunderstand me. Mandy, I love you, but I cannot force you to love me back. Maybe with time, you will realize how much you love me, then you will open up your heart to be with me. Stop it. Please. Don't do this. Monday.
You must not fall in love with the English teacher. You must not. How can I describe this your love? He spent all he has buying you this cloth. Securing you this apartment. Remember the promise you made to your mother? Remember your leaking roof? You won't do this. You are not going to do this. You will not. What's it happen? Eh? So way they chop like this, you, you fight for night. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. I beg, leave me, I beg, hunger home. I don't feel even wait, I beg, I don't feel wait. May they break very well, hunger home. Take it easy, you will choke. Easy. That's your joke. No, leave me. If you want to join. Ah. Mandy. Ah. Since yesterday that you came, you've not given us your number. And I have not seen any phone with you. Don't you have a phone? Um, yes, you're, you're right. I don't, I don't have a phone. Um, and I'm not used to using repaired phones. <laughs> Wait, you said you're not used to using repaired phone. Babe, phones are very expensive. Very, very expensive. And I know a girl of your class would love to use a very classy phone. It's quite expensive. So, you can manage. Manage for now. Maybe later you now buy a bigger phone, okay? And that's not a problem. I'll sort myself out. <laughs> Babe, all of us they streets. We there for streets. In the streets, we don't sort ourselves out. Men sort us out. Okay? Exactly. Talking about that. Which guy will fit this bit now? Who will go for her? I think James. James, James is okay. Ah! James, have you forgotten James knows my boyfriend? <gasps> Pardon my manners. I totally forgot. Okay then, I think... I think Billy G is okay. Perfect. Billy G is perfect. Who is Billy G? He's a mugu money spender. Like... He spends money for a living. Has a man. Yeah. Cool money. He has money. Okay, um, and what does he do for a living? 
We don't know. We yes, don't babe. know. Babe, na streets be this. The day they ask guys where they from bring money, our job na to help them chop the money. So no worry. Let me call him and hook you guys up. I'm sure he will get you a brand new phone, expensive one at that. Let me even call him. Let me call him. Call him, call him, call him immediately. Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Okay. You'll like Billy G. Trust me. <laughs> Okay, it's ringing now. Hi, Billy. <laughs> Good morning, Billy. Oh, sorry. You're still on bed? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disturb your sleep. You see, I, I saw you in my dreams, yes. So I decided to call to check up on you. Hope you're good. Okay. Okay, Billy, let me use this opportunity and tell you something you would like to hear. <laughs> yes. There is a friend of mine. She, she's new in town. Yes, she's your kind of woman. I know you will love her when you see her. Yes. So I said, let me tell you on time. Uh -huh. Yeah, I want to hook you guys up. Like, I want to bring her so you will see her. Uh, you know she's new in town. So you have to do fast before all these social prap prap boys will come back and collect her. You know I see they be now. Oh, you are interested. I know you. <laughs> I know you will be. Okay, we should come later today. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, bye. Baby, don't have a bit that too. Oh. You don't have my. Billy G spends money. Well, I, I have been a victim of con artists in the past. Um, sadly, one of my friends was just a victim a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it's such experience I wouldn't want anyone I know to, you know, get into that because it's just not the best thing. So I think I can relate to that. My mom is to blame for talking me into investing in this first time. She flew in from the U.S. to Kumasi. I wouldn't shut up on how my mates are making money from multiple streams of income. Oh, your mom lives in the U.S.? Yes. <laughs> I wonder what you're doing in this frustrating country. Oh, no. You don't have to say that. Actually, Nigeria is not that frustrating. I think the problem we're having in this country is just our leaders, bad leaders. So what's the difference? <laughs> you have to believe, I'm trying to say, I have lived abroad almost all my life. And I must tell you, it's not easy down there. Yeah. The way people think you just go overseas and pluck money, it's really not like that. You have to work yourself out before you make money. <laughs> yeah. My dad is the reason I've not been able to join my mom in the U.S. My mom and I have been hiding all my life. Hiding? You sound as if your dad is after your life. If you know who my dad is, you will know that I have no business living this wretched life. Who is your dad? My mom was an assistant to a one-time governor. Timmy George. Life happened. My mom got pregnant and my dad gave my mom money to get rid of it. And I guess you are the product of a pregnancy. Definitely, yeah. She changed her mind and told Tim and George about it and all hair got loose. According to my mom, 
We do want to follow each other side as wives. My mom went public about the affair and the pregnancy. It became a threat to her. She went hiding. That was when she did that to me. So, um, right to say it was a bad idea coming back to this country in the first place? Right now, I have nowhere to go, no one to turn to. I can't even use my father's name like other governor's daughters. My mom can't even step into this country because my dad has succeeded in persuading the government to list her name as wanted. Wow. Such a sad story. And of course, a sad experience. But you know, moral of the story is that I'm, I'm glad you didn't give up, irrespective of what um, life is throwing at you. You, you are still there, you know, trying to make ends meet. And that's that's like everything, okay? And I'm proud of you. Well, all of that is history now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We we start by getting you a phone, and um, from there you know, we we'll, we'll kick off. Good times. All lit lit. <laughs> Need iPhone 13 Pro Max. Pro Max. Not available. What about we have 12 Pro Max? Sure. Yes. Oh. How much is it? 650. 650. 650. Uh, that's yeah. too much, please. Please. Don't you have a phone of like um 50, 40, 50,000 naira? Mandy! I mean, Mandy, can you calm down? Bleeding is not complaining at all. Okay? Please get me the 12 Pro Max. No, I can't. That, Mandy, calm down. I, I won't take it. Billy, I won't allow you to spend such money. I mean, that money is enough to buy the land in my village or even do something in the city here. Yeah. Stop. Can you please calm down? He's not complaining. He has the money. Allow him to spend it. I, I barely know him. I can't allow him to spend hey, such don't money. Don't worry about this, okay? You are a pretty girl and you need a good phone that will be fit your beauty, okay? This money is too much now. Money is too much for me. Okay. Can you spend such and amount? We can build a house in the village for you. This is nothing. Billy with the money! Billy with the money! Billy with the money! Billy with the money! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, put the denial on her. Yes. Please bring pouch. Pouch. Okay. Power bank. Billy, this is oh, too much. Don't worry, this is too it's too fine. Much. I said it's fine. This is for you, okay? Billy, this is too it's much. It's fine. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Let me for you. So look around and see if you need like pouch, you need speaker. No, it's I'm okay. It's fine. Yes. Power bank or something. Okay, I think I'll need like power banks and extra chargers. Yes. Well. And that speaker. And speaker, speaker, Bluetooth speaker, all of that. Yeah. Billy, this is too much now. Billy.
So, I will be having an all-night party in my house today. Hope to see you. Oh. I'm not really the party type. Really? I find it hard to believe, though. I'm telling you the truth. I've been on hiding since because of my dad. Anyways, I just hope it's rewards the experience. Of course, this is Billy G's party. It's gonna be late. Okay? Alright then, let's see how it goes. I need to join the girls now. Has anyone told you you are very beautiful? Your eyes, the way you talk. The way you smile, like, it's everything. Thank you. Thank you. I have to go. Not even a kiss before you go? Okay. Nah, I say no. A kiss. the door. What's funny? Why are you girls laughing? Mandy, you are funny. Mandy, Billy G was ready to spend on you today and you were there acting funny. Mm. What is wrong with you? Babe, listen. Forget say condition don't change your level. Come on, girl. You're the ex-governor's daughter. Act like one. Wait, let me be sure I get you girls right. Mm -hmm. Are you girls saying I should have allowed Billy G to waste money? Just like that? Exactly. Of course. And mm -hmm. it's not a waste. Spending money on you, it's not a waste. Mm -hmm. You girls don't mm -hmm. understand this game. Mm -hmm. We don't understand this game. Like, really? Mm -hmm. Do you know you almost embarrassed us today? Do you know? Hey, bitch. What do you expect me to do? Mandy, what is your problem? What is wrong with you? Mandy, we introduced you to this guy as the daughter of an ex-governor. And you couldn't allow him to buy you a phone of ordinary 650,000 naira. Are you kidding me right now? Mandy. Just take a good look at yourself, from hair to toe. Go to your mirror and look at yourself. Girl, you have it all. You have the shape, you have the face, you have everything. Men can do anything to have you. If I wear you or have this figure, have everything. Girl, my bank accounts will be running every minute. And you're here. <laughs> Maybe she's the former Jeff for Billy G. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> she's the former Jeff for Billy Girls. G. No use your head. They dear. Sit down they may pint they wear you. I understand this game. You will see. Hey. Everything. She even knows that she didn't talk. I 
I don't tell you, you Billy. She oh, never mad She never mad for Billy. Eh? Ah. <laughs> My guy, I'm not lying to you. What I'm telling you is a fact. This one, you see this particular girl now, is the last bus stop for me. I'm not looking for anything. I'm not looking for any girl anywhere. I'm telling you the fact. Guy, come on now. You mean to know me by now. Okay, you know why I said she's the real deal? Hmm? We got talking, so you know, at some point I requested um, for her number, so she told me she has no phone. At first I thought she was joking. I said, how? Uh, oh, you don't want to give me your number, why don't you tell me you don't want... She said, no, I don't have a phone, I actually don't want a phone, and... Yes, no phone, not even that. Even on social media, she's not on social media, any social media platform. She doesn't have a phone, just... It is not pretending, my guy, I'm telling you the fact. So then, wait now, let me finish up. So when she said that, I said, okay, fine, I'm going to get you uh, iPhone um, 13. That's, that's the latest iPhone. She said, no, she doesn't need iPhone. Even if she wants to get a phone, maybe the random phone where she can just put her SIM card to to, you know, have a proper conversation. I'm like, really? So this kind of girl still exists? It's not like she's poor or low class. This girl, I'm telling you, is the daughter of an ex-governor. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? Exactly. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So she's way too different. She said she doesn't need a big phone, that she needs just a normal phone. She can put SIM card to make calls and, and stuff like that. So, man, this is something that is rare, is rare. She got class, she's beautiful. When I talk about being beautiful, she's beautiful, top notch, good skin color, good everything. And she's like that, it's, it's crazy. Yes, I'm telling you. So this girl now is the last bus stop for me. Is he mad? What, what, what kind of rough play is that? Is, is, is he stupid? Guy, wait first, man, I'll call you back. Just, just hold on, hold on, I'll call you back. Uh, what kind of rough play is that? Huh? Ah, uh ah. -uh. But he knows he's my babe and he's, he's trying to pull head. That's how people lose their lives, just like that. What is the problem, ma'am? There's no network in the phone. I don't understand. Eh? Eh? I hope that stupid boy have not sold a Spire SIM card to us. That's my fear. No, I'm not sure it's expired because when I inserted the SIM, it came up after a while, it swept off again. So wow. I'm, I'm sure it turns to be a temporary network failure. For how long now? Hey, try, how try, long? try. <gasps> There's no talk. Hey! Thank you, thank you. Thank God. Oh, <laughs> you can enjoy your phone now. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, my darling. Thank You're you. Welcome. I was worried. Okay. Now I can make some calls. Please do. Yes. Yo, do, 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 do. do. <laughs> Hello, hello. Yeah, hello. It's me, Mandy. Oh, babe. So the SIM card is finally working. Yes, it was acting up before, but now it's working properly now. Oh yes, I guess so too. So are you guys ready for the party? Um, no. No, I'm not, baby. Um, baby, please, I want to ask you for something. Okay, go on. 
Um, babe, you know I just got into the country. I've been in Ghana for a very long time now. And I do not have any bank account. I was wondering if you can help me open a bank account here in Nigeria by Monday. Oh yeah, fine. Uh, it's, uh, of course, it's, it's, it's a good idea uh, to have a bank account, you know. Uh, do you have any bank in mind? No, no, not at all. Okay, it's, it's, that's no problem. I'll talk to one of my banker friends so we we we'll get an account for you, okay? Oh, sweetie, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Hey, come on and say that. <laughs> Bye. Take care of you. I'll see you soon, yeah? Bye. All right, bye. Kiss, kiss. Not to take that call, but you wouldn't listen. You know, when I tested those apple, I knew it was a no no for me. <sighs> Mandy, I'm starving. <laughs> me too. I'm very, very hungry. Did you cook anything? Like, this is my house. There's no food here. No food at all. Mandy, please go and get us something to eat. Please. It's like my, my intestine. I've been sliced with a razor. Please. Oh. I. I, I need to eat food. Like seriously, if not that I can feel my legs, I'll say that I left them behind at the party. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Stupid girl. Okay, you know what? Um, you guys should bring money. Let me go get food for us. Oh, okay. Okay. Better. Before you guys will starve to death. Just bring money, bring money, bring money. Can't you use your own money? I don't have cash. Just go to Billy G's room and, and look for money now. I don't have, I didn't bring money here now. Go to Billy G's room and look for money, please. Hey, I'm bring, bring. Go check. There's nothing on my bag. You will starve to death, too. said, what's your name? Sorry. Tell him your name. My name is Mandy George. Mandy? Nice name. Um, I'm sorry, if, if you don't mind, can I have your number? Don't worry, I'm not going to disturb you. I just want to get to it. Yeah. that about? Mm -hmm. Start talking, I want to know, who are you the former Jeff for? I don't know. See this one though. See this one. <laughs> I thought you know this game very well. So what are you doing? I don't know. Get me the Chris. Like, you don't hide. I don't understand. Eh? With the way I'm seeing that guy, he's like he's very rich. And handsome. And handsome. Yes. And you're here doing shakara. 
Wait, 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 hey. babe, wait. I want to understand. Do you think that Billy G will have your time? Do you think that you're going to stay with Billy G forever? The Billy G we are talking about now, maybe with a girl, doing quickie, you know? You know? You know? A dirty girl. Dirty like girl. girl. And you're here. For me, what I don't do, you guys should stop this. Stop. But she's right. Stop it. Stop trying to manage me. I know hey. what I am doing. Wait, were you expecting me to just fall for him because he asked for my name? I don't do that. I need to make him see the value of what he's trying to get. Oh, oh really? really? Yes, really. Ah, so now you're a big girl, right? Just say that yourself. Hey. Okay, let me have my mm. Cheers. They so say. What's the color? We're getting ash. It's okay, please. I need that shoe. Which okay. shoe again? That pink shoe. Uh, I'll give you the pink shoe. You give me. You bring this one home. Oh. How about that? It's okay, she's just that's our business. <laughs> if you like, don't don't grab the opportunity. <laughs> I may be traveling to Abuja tomorrow. <laughs> hey! Don't tell me you're going to Abuja to see a man. Mm. Mandy. Mandy, your lights don't they shine. It don't start though. Your lights don't they shine. I beg, beg. Don't forget us when you get to your paradise. I beg. I beg. Not, not what you guys think. My... My mom has been chatting me. She wants me to see one of her sisters in Abuja. Hey, aye. Sisters. Mandy, isn't that risky? Knowing well that your dad, the former governor, is in Abuja. He might see you now. Exactly. It would be risky for you. Not to worry, girls. That's not a problem she told me when and how to go about it. Okay. It's all right. Just be careful. Be careful, oh. Mm -hmm. Hi, Snap. <laughs> go on. Oh, what? Oh. Andrew. Andrew, the guy I met at his restaurant. <gasps> peek, peek. Peek, peek. Hello? Hey, I'm here. Uh, no, I'm with my guy. Well, I don't think so. I already scheduled my day. My flight has been scheduled for tomorrow. But not to worry. I'll see you when I get back, okay? Have a nice day. Guy, who is your guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. to see me. The way I am seeing that Andrew of a guy, I think he might be richer than Billy J. Exactly. You're right. I think so too. Just use your head. I know. Use your head very well. <laughs> Trust me. Snapchat, please. Okay. Mm. Make sure you buy me something meaningful while coming back from Abuja. I don't want to hear stories. Cheap, babe. I'll get you something good. You like it? <laughs> okay. Um, at least I forget. What is it? Billy G opened an account for you yesterday yes. and credited you with something huge. Yes. I want to know how much he credited you. You want to know? Must you know everything, Esther? Just know that he credited me with something really good. Good enough. <laughs> Mandy, good enough is not an answer. I want to know the actual figure, like the exact amount. I want to know. Why? What can be why? It's 
It's okay now. I mean, Mandy, eh. Mandy, no, no, they do like this. No, 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 do me this thing. You no know, good. No, forget that I'm hooking this guy up. Why won't they yes. put me behind? You need to do update me. I don't know what's up now. Tell me how much way in credit to make I know. Uh -uh. I said he credited me with something good enough. Don't worry now. Calm down. I'll buy you something. Okay? I can't tell you the figure. That's the truth. You won't show yourself. <laughs> Anyways, I, I, I've changed my mind. I don't want you to buy me anything anymore. I want credit a lot. Hey. Credit a lot. Yes. Okay, no problem. I'll send you something. Now you're talking. <laughs> oh, thank you. Something. Thank you. Yeah. And please, um, don't tell Messi. <laughs> she will ask for her own cuddle. My my no, hand no deal. No problem. I was keeping this cup guy now. Eh? I won't be happy if I miss my flight because of him. But I told you to use my Uber guy. You said no. These people they used they, they used to disappoint too. Just pray he comes out now. If I'd known, let me see and try. Uh-uh. Who's keeping him now? Oh, he's here. Oh. Okay. Okay. You go in. Let me. You wasted time, oh. Sorry. Don't mind him. You're lucky I didn't miss my flight. Okay. Thank Take you care so much. Of um, just tell Messi that I'll be back before she knows. Okay. I'll get you there something, okay? Guys, take care of yourself. Bye. Okay. Hey, you better drive safe, please. That's my girl you're carrying there. <laughs> drive safe. Bye. My girl. Um, driver, I'm not going to the airport. I'm going to my village. But first, we have to stop at the market to get some stuffs. From there, we we'll head to the village. Okay. How much is it? Oh, how much is it? 700. The big one of it is how much? Let me see. Okay, keep it then. Keep this one. I'm coming back. Okay, keep this one. You have the big one of this. Keep this one as well. I'll be back, okay? They sell fish here. How much they sell? I bet you get a lady. No lady. This one, how much? This one, two five. How much last? Two five, like two thousand naira. Okay, keep it. Bring. Keep. I need five of it. Five, eh?
Okay. Um, add this other one to it. Yes. Five of that one. Okay. I'm coming back for it. Just wrap it. I'm coming back. How are you? Um, how much is Sarah? What, what kind of rice is this one? This is Nigeria rice. I want cup rice. Cup rice. How much you said that? 36,000. Is that the last? Um, so half bag will be how much? Okay, bring it up. Okay, just from here. Um, Olilanya oderem Mana dendo mana wangu Olilanya de Olilanya derem Mama do lilanya de regio Mena dendo mena wangu <laughs> yes, Mama. I'm in your mama, program. this is me. So this is you. Yes, Mama. This is really you. This is your daughter, Mama. Hey! <laughs> Not quite long you went to the city and you came back with a car. I know. In my compound. In your compound, Mama. Hey! <laughs> Hey, ne. Mama, as for that, this is not my car. I actually chattered it from the city to bring these things for you. Get that car on, Whatever you call it, I don't care. All I know is that car has entered my car. Mama, you never my change. Hey, yo. <laughs> She's also dogu. Hey. Chineko, hey. 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 Your daughter is now a big girl. I hey, told you I will make it. Now, wow. <laughs> Mama, I need to hurry up to get to the market close to the park. I want to get mattress for us to sleep on. We are done with those worn out, God forsaken mattress. Hey, please, please, please. Hey, 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 hey. Hold your tongue a little. Don't insult those mats. You know, they have been faithfully with us during our critical period. Eh? Hey? As for that, you are right. But today, I will set them ablaze. Um, hurry, hurry, Mama. Let me hurry up, eh? All let right. me hurry up. What are we? Uh, <laughs> what are we? We are super poor. Oh, no, Mama. We are not poor anymore. Mama, we are super rich. We are super rich. rich. What did I say? We, we are, are super rich. Rich, we, we wear, wear our badge, badge with pride. pride. Um, mama. Let's go. <laughs> Levels don't change, Mama. Hey, Levels. Levels don't change. Hey, bring out those mattress. I'll I'll set them ablaze by the time I come back. Just bring them out. <laughs> Levels don't change, Mama. Um, bye -bye. We are super rich. rich. We, we wear our badge, badge with pride. I'm going to drive hey, to the lap park, okay? Hey, hey. To the park. To the park. Mama, I'm coming. Oh, no. I'm waiting. Oh, oh well, no. Bye bye. Bye. I'm coming back soon. Yay. We are super rich. We wear our badge with pride. Pride. <laughs> no, bye bye. I'm waiting. Oh. Come back. Go. Oh. Come back soon. I'm waiting. We are super rich. Oof. 
Mm. In as much as I am happy for all the things you bought for me, I still have to admit that lots of thoughts are running through my mind about how you managed to get money to buy all this in a short period of time. <laughs> Mama, you don't have to worry yourself too much. In fact, don't worry yourself. I have told you I'm not doing anything wrong or any criminal activities in the city. I'm only working as a domestic staff for a very rich man. Rich man? Yes, Mama. Very rich man, oh. So God directed your feet to a rich man? Yes. Yeah? Yes, Mama. Hey! <laughs> You mean Nuriya? Yes, Mama. <laughs> Do you know how beautiful you are? <laughs> Thank you, Mama. You are so beautiful. Though. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> like my mother. <laughs> like me, like me, not your father. Not your father. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. This rich man, has he taken a good look at you? I suppose he has. Please, uh, don't be angry that I'm asking questions. So. <laughs> it's okay, Mama. <laughs> um, is he married? No, Mama, he's not. He's not married. He's not married? Chukudem. God, thank you. Thank you, God. You have opened the eyes of a rich man. <laughs> To behold the beauty in my daughter. Hey! Mama. Chuku, thanks. <laughs> Mama, this is just the beginning. Hmm? <laughs> See, before I go back to the city, I would call the furniture maker to come and furnish this old place. Huh? Uh -huh. And I will call the capital to come and fix this roof. Don't uh -huh. worry. Yes, it's just the, this is small. Don't worry. <laughs> God, that hasn't happened. Back to where I was, um, this rich man. Hey, um, <laughs> I'm still talking about this rich man. Uh, please, hey. hold him firmly. Hey, respect him. <laughs> Just be good to him. You know, respect him. Make him to see the beauty in you, <laughs> not on you. But inside you, that is the original beauty. Hey. And you have it. Mama, are you telling me? I planted me? it in you. Yes. And you are you telling me? Are you telling me? Don't yes. worry yourself. Your daughter knows what she's doing. Eh? Eh? Uh -huh. This is a phone for you. A quente? Yes. <laughs> we can be talking anytime when I return back to the city. Did you see me inside already? Hey! I'll be crediting your phone with airtime. Okay? <laughs> I wanted to get you a bigger one. But I know it will be difficult for you to operate. So just be managing this one for now. This thing manage. It's no manage you. Me, Agatha. I have a quente now. Hey! Huh? Yes, Mama. Hey! Mwa, Maka. Mwa, na Tako, Fei, Gusi. Eh? Who would have given to me if not for a child of mine? Hey! If I'm a woman. Me, I got her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm alive in the land of the living. Yes, so. Seeing good. Where I am, I'm born for you. Mama, don't worry, more will come. Oh. Uh -uh. Hi. Oh, Guinea, what? Mama, what is it? Obi, already. Ha. 
Why did you choose to leave this world? Why did you have to die? Huh, Mama. You should have lived to see with your eyes what is happening now. Mama, not again. Not again. Please stop mentioning Papa's name. Let the man have rest. Eh? Mama, listen, if I know what I know now, eh? Papa won't have died of that illness. Just imagine Papa died because of ordinary 30,000 naira hospital B. Ha! Mama, please, Mama, don't do this now. Don't do this, Mama. Did you call 30,000 naira ordinary? You call it ordinary? Something that made your father to die, and you call it ordinary. It's not ordinary, you. 30,000 naira is not ordinary. Because since my life, I have not seen a piece of it. Anyamafu to be here. Open Anyamafu go here. I can provide here with his own domain. We would have provided it to save the life of your late father. So it's not ordinary. Please, please, just just forget forget so all these things. No um, no like I said, this is a new beginning for us. Please, no. let it go. No. Yeah, no. At least, madam, my manners. Oh, I am so happy. My heart is full of joy. Mm -hmm. Come, I want you to kneel down. Let me bless you. Ah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I lift your daughter before you. I pray for your blessings upon her. Amen. Ah. Blessings of every kind. Amen. Bless Mama, I'm here. Hey, are mm -hmm. uh -uh. Mama, are you going out? Yes. I want to go to Nkwa Market to buy things to prepare wonderful Onubu soup for you. Huh? But you don't have money. Who said that I don't have money? Have you forgotten the one you gave to me? Oh, Mama, no, 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 no. That money I gave to you. It's for your upkeep when I've gone back to the city. I don't want you to spend that of it. You know what? Go inside, check my purse. You see money. Take as much money as you can to, to get whatever you want. Hey! God! I'm alive in this land of the living to see good. <laughs> to see it. all this. <laughs> Mama. God bless you. God bless you too. <laughs> Mama, don't worry, just Moto mo chara chakari again. Amen. Mama, go and get what you want. Huh? Thank you. Okay. Yes. Take care of. Okay, now I'm going now. Mm. Go away, Mama. Hello? Baby, what's going on? You got me worried. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't call. As soon as I landed, my aunt was at the airport waiting for me. She couldn't even allow me to make call or receive any calls. She was afraid that my dad had sent his boys to be monitoring us. Oh, baby. Do you know I thought your father picked you up at the airport or maybe you missed your flight? You know, so many thoughts on my mind. No, he did not. Anyways, Abusha is cool. I'm enjoying my stay here. My aunt did not take me to the house. She took me to one of these hotels. Um, Topsy. Topsy Hotel. Mm, that's quite a lovely. 
Now I feel like joining you over there now. Mm, should I take the next flight? No, 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 baby. No, you don't have to. Having you here will make my aunt think that I'm not in security conscious. Okay, it's fine if you say so. But just know I can't wait to have you back. I can't wait to have you too. Don't worry. As soon as I land, I'll be heading straight to your house. Of course, just that two days is it's like eternity, you know. Two days time. I'll be back in two days time. <laughs> Babe, I have to go now, okay? Please, I have to go. Uh, my aunt is coming over to pick me. We have to get something for my mom at Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's fine, baby. It's fine. Don't do that next time, okay? Keep your phone on so I can reach you anytime I want, right? All right, bye. Love you, baby. I know, right? Same here. Don't worry, don't miss me too much. I'll see you soon. Oh, yeah. Feels better. <clears throat> Hello, babes. Madam, now what for you? Now what for you? Since yesterday. Eh? Don't even tell me that you were so tired because from here to Abuja is just 45 minutes. 45 minutes flight. Uh -uh. And you couldn't call us since yesterday. It's not nice now. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. I should have called. You know, it's been long I saw my aunt. When we met, we were just talking. And, uh, uh... Mandy, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? You left for Abuja since yesterday and you couldn't call till now. Do you know how many times we've dialed your number and it's been switched off? I know. I'm sorry for not calling. I have no excuse. For real, I'm sorry. I'm as guilty as charged. Don't worry. Uh, uh, you know, try, I beg. You know, at some point, we started thinking maybe your father has picked you up or maybe you've been kidnapped. We were even thinking of calling um, teacher Emeka. No, I'm safe. I am. I'm safe. I understand how you feel. And it's okay. Have you spoken to Billy G? He's been worried about you, though. Yes. I just spoke with him a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's up? What's your plans for today? Well, right now, I'm just in one very luxurious hotel, Top C. Hey. Mm, my girl. Enjoyment. Babes, you need to see the hotel. It's one of the biggest in Abuja. Hmm. I'm about getting ready. I want to have my bath. My aunt is coming over. She wants us to go and run an error for... My mom at Asukoro. Mm -hmm. Um, it's okay, baby love. Just take good care of yourself and be safe, okay? Okay, girl, take care of yourself, okay? And please stay in touch. Take care. I will. I will do that, girls. Don't worry, I'll get some things for you girls, okay? All right, bye. This girl, See, she's, she's enjoying me. She's enjoying. Hey, see, hey, see, see <laughs> I envy her, Sha. Mama. You're cooking already? Yes, in there. I rushed to the market and bought things to prepare super or hot soup for you. Hey, eh? See, if you see how I was all over the market today, mm -hmm. moving and buying like a big woman like that. Hey! If you I'm not. Hey! You're a big woman now, Mama. I went to where they are selling meat. That is my mother. I know where you going. That is my mother. Hey, this one, 10,000. Mm -hmm. This one, 20,000. Give me this one, 10,000. That Put is my, my mother. Bag. That is my mother. Eh? So this is how money is You are a big woman now. Eh? Enjoy the money. Ah, Almost all these things you bought just for me. Hey. <laughs> I bought more Morocco crayfish. Everything that I enter market, I'm, I, I From bought From what all. you just mentioned now, I can tell this soup will be very delicious. Hey, yeah, you know me now. You know my hand of cooking now. Just my mother. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one you are dressed like this. Don't tell me you are going out. Eh, uh, Mama. Yes, I'm going out. 
I want to see the English teacher, Emeka. The one from the evening lessons. Ne, can't you wait and eat before going? Mama, don't worry. I won't stay long. I'll be back before you are done. Don't worry. Oh? Okay, oh. Mama, the mama. I'm waiting. Mama. Anna, me check it. Who is there? Hold on. Wow. <laughs> Who? I'm a Kokoshi. Is this you? Wow, I can't believe this. Amaka, what did you just call me? Uh, Amaka, I caught you, of course. I have been reborn. Don't ever address me as Amaka Okochi. My name is Mandy George. Henceforth, do your best to address me as Mandy George. Ah. All right, I, I will try, but you know, for, for a period of time we were together here in the village, I usually call you uh, Amaka Okochi. So, it's going to take me a while to adjust to the new name, but I will try. How long are you going to keep me standing by the door? What are you hiding? No, no, okay, who's first you want to see? <laughs> um... Honestly, I don't like how you often make girlfriends to this ugly incident. You know, if not for my lesson, you wouldn't have gone to the city to look how you are looking today. You would have still be here in this village weeding grass. No, Emeka. Stop it. Don't you ever refer to my past life. Stop it. Did I not pay a price with my virginity? Huh? If all I had done was to listen to your teachings, your lessons, I'll still be here. I'll still be in this village. Wretched as ever. I paid a price. A price too precious for a young girl anyway. I never asked you to give me your body. You offered me your body and I took advantage of that. And I've apologized. I was wrong. By the way, did you come here this morning to have a fight with me? I have thought about what happened between us. Sincerely, I wasn't a perfect gentleman for taking advantage of a poor girl like you before helping out. Yeah. Oh. Sounds like someone has grown conscious. I won't be surprised if I hear your man as Grand Priest. Stop being sarcastic, Amaka. Oh, sorry. Mandy. Stop being sarcastic. I am as guilty as you are. The truth is, I shouldn't have allowed a beautiful angel like you slip off from my hands. I love you. I know you won't believe me, but I do. Uh -huh. I love you too. You do? I've never loved anyone besides you. It happened all of a sudden. I think I struck a chord with you. But that is all there is. Don't even dream of getting married to me because it might not happen. Why did you say so? Because I'm from a poor family. All I want is money. I want plenty money. I want to be rich. 
and I don't see you making the kind of money I dream of. Listen, we both know you're not particularly rich. And I don't want to use the fact that because I am in love, I'll have to go back to my poverty life. No. Don't get me wrong. I don't mean to be harsh. I pay the price. I'm just practicing what you taught me. You see, I... I will allow you make the kind of money you seek. But I'll be quick to point out something. Money is not everything. Love is a better choice. I want to correct an impression. I am not as poor as you think. I have my businesses running in the city. I'm only here in the village because of the love and passion I have for teaching. And of course the love at looking at young girls' breasts. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to say that. It's kind of slipped out of my mouth. It's a price I'm paying for doing something wrong. No, truly I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just that I'm a jealous lover. I can't imagine you being with another girl. I can't take it. <sighs> I'm seeing a man in this city. He's rich. He has money. But I'm not in love with him. I'm in love with his money. He's rich. Really rich. But I already have my plans. I already know when to dump him and move to my next big catch. You can do whatever you want. But I'll be waiting for you at the end of your broken dream. Mm -hmm. I am your dream. Amaka said she would come back before I finish cooking. Since morning. Eh? Just look at the time. Since, since morning. Eh? Kill DJ this year. Ah, Nemo. Um, uh, uh, I know that face. You're trying to tell me you're not happy with me, Mama. Eh? Not happy? I'm boiling. Eh? Yeah, you're not the one that told me that, that, that you're going to come back before I finish cooking. Look at the time now. I'll kiss you in city. Eh? When did you learn to, to, to uh, uh, stay uh, out in the night? It's not good, man. It's, it's not a, a manner of a decent girl. Mama, I'm a, a, sorry. a child I brought up. I know, Mama. I'm sorry. I tried calling you, but your number was switched off. Which phone? Eh? The one that closed eyes since, since uh, 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 you left. Ah, uh, let me see. Closed eye, Kwa. Oh. You must have mistakenly offed it. Look at it. It's on. Oh. Yes. It has opened the eyes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, you <laughs> I'm sure you mistakenly offed it while it was in your bag. I have already concluded that uh, it has spoiled. No, it's not spoiled, Mama. It's not spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, 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 you just uh, 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 scattered my plans. I was planning to go to the farm and weed. Eh? But look at it. <laughs> Talking about farm, eh? Uh -huh. Thank God you brought this up yourself. Mama as long as I live, 
you will never wait on anybody's farm again. You know, it has ended today. How can you say that? See, I have already agreed with uh, Ilabuchi to work uh, 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 in his Kokoyam farm uh, at Umweze. Mama, forget about that one. Okay, this is what you do. You send a message to Ilabuchi and tell him that you suddenly developed waist pain. Mm, and that you cannot make it. That is what you do. Oh, eh, well, I'm in one. The truth is that you don't understand what I'm saying. That man has given me part payment of that job. Oh, he has? Yes. Yeah. I'm okay, you can... But how much are we talking about? 900 naira. <laughs> Mama! Uh -uh. 900 naira, and you're saying it with pride. What will you use 900 naira to do, Kwani? Eh? No, tell me now. Mama, you will not go there. You will not. Mm. Eh? Yes, you will not. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, no problem. <clears throat> this is what we'll do. What is the name of that boy again? Kayafaya? Um, Agaracha. Yes. Is he still in this village? Has he anywhere to go? How can he talk of leaving the village when the bushes around are still full of squirrels and uh, grass cutters? Oh, so he's still here. Good. I will give Agarasha 3,000 Naira. Hmm? He will go to the farm. He will wait there. When he's done, he will go to Ilabushi and collect his balance 900 Naira. Is that okay? Don't talk like that, though. See, let me tell you the plain truth. I cannot stop farming. Why? I cannot stop weeding on the, in the farm. Because it makes me to be fit. Yeah. If I stop farming, I will get sick. I will die if I stop now. farming. Uh -uh. How can you say suffering makes you healthy? Can you hear yourself, Mama? Suffering makes you healthy. Why are you doing this, Mama? Mama, you not go. You will not go. Okay, fine. If you know you want to be healthy, you know you want to do exercise, start jogging. I'll get you all the exercise kits you can take off so that you can jog. Chekwe, Obrankana wunye na wutu. Jump. Mungwa bumado. I should be jumping up and down. At this my age. Hey, yeah. I how can you suggest something like that? Hey, you chana kuku jen megi. Mama rap maka, please. All I know is that you can never weed on anybody's farm again. If you must weed, it has to be your own farm. You know? Yes. Mama, where is the food? Mm. Eh, now the food you made I for me. I thought you wouldn't ask. Why won't I ask? Uh -huh. Something I've been salivating for. Mama, please, where is the food? Is it in the kitchen? <laughs> Hello, my love. I am sorry, but please, can it be possible for us to see tomorrow? Is that why you called? Yes, that is the reason. I, I can't concentrate on what I am reading. I'm here thinking about you. Then go to sleep. I can't sleep either. Thank you, my love. Thank you. I'm sorry I didn't come earlier as promised. I was watching for my mom. It's okay. I'm leaving tomorrow, so I need to help her out as much as I can. Hmm. I understand anything for your mother. You've not gone and started missing you already. I missed you too. I feel different when I'm with you. 
as if I've known you all my life. You know, sometimes I try to regret why I taught you and your classmates about how to be smart in anything you do. If not, you would have been here with me. Mm. So would you have preferred me being in the village and suffer with you in poverty, really? What makes you think you'll be poor if you marry me? I don't know. I want to be loved. But I'm scared of poverty. Very scared of poverty. I don't want to get married to you and later go back to poverty life, feeding from hand to mouth. I don't want that. Don't you want to get married? Of course, I want to get married, but I'm still young. I still have time. I want to make money. I want to make money. I want to be rich. I want to take myself and my mom out of poverty. I want to build a house here in the village and build a house in this city too. Yes. Am I asking for too much? In all you've said, I didn't hear you talk about acquiring a skill or furthering your education. Oh, all those are not as significant as being rich. <sighs> Don't worry, I'll do that. I'll do that maybe later in life. Your phone has been ringing for a very long time and um, she don't want to pick your call. Oh, that's my new catch. I don't want to take his call when I'm with you. I guess I am not the only one growing a conscience. <laughs> Perhaps. <sighs> Emeka, I need to leave. I have to go and pack my things. I'm leaving very early tomorrow. I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too. Do I need to see you off? As you wish. <laughs> I know you won't say no. All right. I'm sorry I couldn't take your calls earlier. I had a lot on my plate. I think I should apologize for calling over and over again. I just wanted to remind you we have to see as soon as we can. I get it. We'll see as soon as I get back. I'll be back tomorrow, before evening. <sighs> Please, I need to run along. I had a very busy day today. I'm exhausted already. All right, bye. Baby, I'm back to town. I'm coming over to your place as promised. Baby, why didn't you call me to come pick you at the airport? Oh, I'm sorry about that. I didn't want to bother you. Bother me? Did I, did I say you're bothering me? Hmm? Why would you take a public transport when, when we have cars here? So how far are you from home? Um, I just left the airport. I want to get some stuff for Messi and Esther. Okay, so that would buy me enough time to make you something to eat. You can cook? No comment till you eat my food. <laughs> Alright, see you here. Bye, baby. I'm driver. We're headed to BC. Okay, my Yeah, 
Yeah, it's fine. I like the color. Okay. How much is this? Um, this is eighteen nine nine nine. Ah, what's with the nine nine nine? Uh, I'm taking it eighteen. I'm taking eighteen thousand naira. Right. Are you okay? Okay. Okay. Cool. You keep this one. You um, can this one too. actually match it to match. And what yes. size? That's um size forty one. What okay, size okay, do you that's, that's, no, I'm, I'm getting it for my friends. Um, Messi, oh, Messi is 41. Do you have um, size 39? 39. Please, I need 41 and 39 for the both of them. Okay. Yeah. This size oh, 39. this is lovely. Beautiful. Um, how many of these do you have? This is red. Oh. Let me have the green as well. Okay. Also, this is green. This is red. It's fine. Okay, you can actually match it with this. Uh, red, red. <laughs> Those girls, they don't like reds at all. It's not their thing. They have enough red colors bag already. So please, okay. let's keep this one. Um, what? Okay, let, let me make do with this. Get the other okay. legs of this. Uh huh. And then what else? What about this? Oh, this is nice. I can't buy one. You have up to two. Mm. Yeah, I do. Okay, get it for me. Okay. Alright, then just pack them. Pack them, pack them. Alright. I think I should have this. It's okay. Just pack them. Um right. we have lovely what's what's wristwatches. Okay. Nice. Um wristwatch. Yeah. She... This is okay. Nice. feminine. Okay. She can do that. Yeah, this is nice. All right, this will be fine. Add it to it. Um, to, um, this one. Add this one to it as well. Okay. What about this? No, it's fine. Just one. I need just two. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Okay, add it to it. Huh. Nice place you've got here. Thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, all right, just good, right. Yes, I'm good. Package okay. my stuff for me. Right. And let me know my bill. Okay. Yes, babe, what's up now? Eh? How are you coming home again? We've been waiting. I'm back. I'm on my way to Billy G's house now. Billy G? Can you imagine Esther? Mandy is back and she's going to Billy G's house. Are you kidding me right now? Please oh. give me that phone. Give me the phone, let me talk to her. Madam, so you came back and the first person you went to see is Billy G, right? Oh, Esther. No, Billy G has been calling me constantly. I'm on my way to his house now. Why don't you and Messi come, come over? I have got stuff for you. Really? <laughs> oh my goodness, I love the sound of that. Okay, we are coming. We're coming. Oh my goodness. Coming. Where are we going to? Let's go to Billy G's house. She said we should come over that she has got some stuff. <gasps> ah! I can't wait. Let me go and hey, change. change. I know you. I'll, I'll be there before you. <laughs> we are going to see her. Baby, <laughs> welcome. Don't worry, I got this. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, baby, you're welcome. Thank you. Feels like ages without you. I'm here now. I'm all yours. So how was your trip? It was perfect. Thank God. <laughs> okay, this way, please. I was just trying to round off for the meal before you came. <laughs> Yeah. How impressive. I told you I made you a zumptuous meal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Easy, easy. yeah, it's fine. I got it over excitement. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they didn't stress you. <sighs> You're welcome, baby. Thank you. Please um, have a seat. Thank you. So how was your trip? It was okay. I'm here now. Of 
course. <laughs> Wow, you got me a gift? Yes. Cologne. <laughs> wow, thank you, baby. You're thank you. Thank you. You know, I traveled, so I'm supposed to get my baby a gift. Of course. <laughs> I also got some gifts for the girls. I asked them to come over to this place. I'll be spending the night here. Hope you don't mind. No, 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 of course. <laughs> How can you possibly say that? Of course, that's what I want. <laughs> okay, so um, um, the wardrobe, let me take it back there. So, oh, yes. I'm so, so, so tired. Please, can you just help me take off um, this cloth? I'm too tired, please. please. Okay, sure. Sure, baby. I'll, I'll help you, you know. I can do anything for you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. You're my baby. Anything for you. <laughs> well, of course, you need a massage, I know. Hmm? Sorry. I, are, you, are you sure we should do this after taking your bath? So. Please, just do it. Okay, so. I'm a bit confused. Wow. <laughs> this looks mm. breathtaking. <laughs> Wait till you have a taste. Oh. Well, I added enough chili though. I, I remember you said you, you like chili. Yes. Um. Why did you change? You don't, you don't want to use. No, uh, I'm comfortable with spoon. spoon. Right? <laughs> I'm comfortable with spoon. Uh. Mm. Mm. You like it? Baby. <laughs> this is good. This really tastes good. Thank you. I'm uh, glad uh, you love it. Are you sure you're the one that prepared this one? Hey, come on. Don't say that. I uh, mean... Oh. <laughs> you had when I was grinding the tomatoes and of course... Uh, I never knew you were good at cooking. Mm -hmm. I told you. I'm, I'm trying. I'm doing my best at least. Hmm? <laughs> Maybe be very sure. Tell me the truth. Did you get this food from somewhere or you cooked it yourself? No. This is too I mean, this, I this tastes didn't. too good. <laughs> mm. Well, it's fine, your daughter. Mm. Mm. This is good. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Aren't you eating? No, baby, I'm, I'm fine. I'll eat much later. Mm. I like. I'm very sure you don't want some. No, mm -hmm. I'm fine. I'm just trying to. Um, that's it. Me, I was expecting. So I just, it just popped up on my phone. Mm. Yeah. Go on, enjoy it's your food. This is really nice. I love. So tell me, what were you up to today? I have been cooking. I 
Monday. finish our gifts. Bring them. Shark, shark. And I hope you close down a shop for us. So, no, no, I didn't close down shop. I closed down shops for you. <laughs> That's my girl. That's my girl. Okay, hurry up. Hold on. Did you cook? I am perceiving a sweet aroma in this house. I was actually perceiving the same thing. It's just that I was trying to package and respect myself. <laughs> package fire. <laughs> No, I didn't cook. Um, Billy actually cooked for me. What? Yes. Yeah. Billy cooked for you. Billy, now you be this. Like, see as love bumble you. I Billy, wait till happen to your asthmatas. Wait till happen to your ruggedness. Wait till. I weak. Love bites me. Love come humble you. <laughs> now you, they talk like this. As in. Billy, love humbled you. Billy, for how many years now that we've known you, you have never cooked for us. You've never cooked for me in particular. And Mandy just showed up. He started cooking for her. That's crazy. Um, babes, it's okay. Um, you know what? Let me go get you the food and the Please gifts. Please be first about I'll get it. the gifts for you. Very I important. You very nice gifts. Please be fast, oh! I'm even interested in the gift. The gift first. Uh, Please yes. bring the gift first before the food. And that one day, but I carry us come here. More no lie. Now the gift carry us come here. Bring the gift first. Ha, <laughs> ah, Billy. The Rasmatas Billy. He's now a lover boy. He's now a lover boy. Eh? Love is indeed strong, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So baby, I was um, <clears throat> I was thinking how you can start up your business again. You know, let's forget about the business you lost in Ghana. There's always a new beginning. Aww. You're such a darling. Yes, I would really love to start making money again. Okay, nice. So do you want to continue with your previous business or you want to switch to a new one? Uh, I don't really have anything in my mind now. Um, I have to do some visibility study. Um, I was into fashion business before in Ghana and um, now that I'm in Nigeria, I realize that the business is kind of flooded down here. So. Well, um, Nigeria is a, is a big country. Of course, Ghana is a great country, quite all right. But, you know, we have more population here and I feel doing business here is, will be, you know, worth it. Once you're doing it well, once you have, once you're creative with your, whatever you're doing, and I'm sure that you're, you're definitely going to make it. Right. Mm. Um, I do have to do some research about that. Yes. Okay. Come here. Well, just to let you know that whenever you're ready, I'm going to support you with 12 million now. What? What? 12 million. Oh, baby, if... If that's small, I'm I'm going to add more for you. Just that I feel twelve million will go a long way, but I, I could still add more. Twelve million? No, it's, it's not about the amount. I mean, I just met you, and you're willing to do all this for me. I mean, just the other day when I was going to do. Vi to go Abuja, you you opened an account for me with five hundred thousand naira. Oh come on, baby! You got me on what fourteen? <sighs> yeah. And uh, baby, it's you know okay. You want to give me twelve million naira. 
Hey, you're my woman, right? Of course, I have to share all I have with you. I have to make sure you're happy. I have to make sure you're, you're the best version of yourself. If I don't do it, who else will I do it for? And come, this is one thing I love about you. You show appreciation in every little thing, regardless of where you're coming from. I love you. You're crying. Oh. Hey, stop. Stop. Who are you? What have you done to me? You just... You just... Food. Oh, this is so sweet. But I have not brushed. I can't. I can't it, know. it doesn't really matter, my love. You brushed last night, so go on. Here you go. Chili, because I noticed you love chili. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay. So I'll leave you to feed yourself. Hmm? Thank and we'll you. finish up in the kitchen. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll be back soon. <laughs> Eat your food. Already. Yeah, I'm off. Babe, um, I'll be leaving today. Today? Mm-hmm. No, baby, you have to stay for more days. At least three days or four. Well, three days is a lot. I don't want the girls to think I abandoned them. How can you say the girls, baby? They always go to visit their boyfriends. They've been there for like weeks. The other time I came. I can't be in this big house all alone. At least you stay and keep me company. Okay, baby. I'll stay for another two days. Another three days. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> See you when I'm back. All right, baby. Bye. Bye.
Hello, Andrew. Good morning. Good morning, my love. I hope you had a great night. Yes, I did. Thanks. Mm. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Am I going to see you today as you promised? Oh, jeez. You're making me wish I didn't promise that. Listen, I'm in my boyfriend's house. I told you that. And I don't want to be seen around sneaking with another man. Well, I am not letting you off that easy. You gave me a word and I'm holding you by it. Oh, God. Andrew. Andrew, what do you want? I told you I'm in a relationship. I don't know what I will be doing with you. Well, on my part, I know exactly what I want to do with you. You promised to see me. <sighs> Okay, okay, I'll come. I'll come by. I'll see you by 12. Just send the address, please. All right, then. I'll see you later. Monday. You know, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'll put it straight to you. I want you to be the center of my life. And how do you intend to achieve this? I already told you I'm in a relationship. And frankly speaking, I'm not looking for a new date. What if I make you an offer? Jeez. Oh, Do we really have to do this? Yes, I have to. Listen, let me tell you. I'm very ruthless and take no prisoner when it comes to negotiating deals. Someone once made me an offer and I know how it ended. Was it bad? No, not at all. In fact, it was a new horizon for me. It was a new beginning. Well, then you don't have to be afraid of my offer. You know, I think I'm the right man for you. No, actually, the best man. But as it stands, you're with someone and you don't seem to want to give me a chance. What if I offer you five million naira to date me for two weeks just to prove you should be with me. What's all this? Hmm? If you say yes, I will transfer 2.5 million to you right now and you get the rest after two weeks. What is wrong with you? Are you trying to buy my love? It's not for sale. No, I am not trying to buy your love. See, this money is an incentive to persuade you just to decide to date me for two weeks. Nice try. But you see, you see this money you're talking about? My boyfriend gives me way much more than that just for weekend shopping. You need to know you're up against it. Mm. My boyfriend, he undresses me bets me, cooks for me, serves me dinner in bed. So listen, it's not really, should I say really, it's not about his money, but about his good heart. Well, he seems to be very romantic. Yes, he is. But you don't know what I can do for you. In fact, I can actually set the bar so high that he wouldn't stand a chance. I can see you have nice choice of words. But I'll stick to what I have experienced. My boyfriend. I see no reason to cheat on him. Not because of mere five million naira. I'll make it 10 million. Five million right now. Five million after two weeks. Why are you doing this? 
Don't you have a woman in your life to spend this money on? No. As we speak, there's no woman in my life. If I say yes, does this deal exclude sex and other things? Mandy, I can't promise you that. Now listen. If your hand brushes my body within these two weeks, you will pay way more than the 10 million. What is your account number? <laughs> I'm so excited right now. I, am, I, I still can't believe this. Oh, okay, baby. Can you just calm down and talk to us? Hey. Since you came back, you've been like this. I don't understand. <laughs> um, or. Billy G, did you buy Bugatti for you? That's it, right? Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is not about Billy G. It's Andrew. The guy is not. He will stop at nothing just to date me. Who is Andrew again? Who is Andrew? Come on, girls. Don't tell me you can't remember the guy at the restaurant you've pushed me to give out my number to. <gasps> Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, um, the guy is not. Do you know that this guy offered me 10 million naira just to date him for two weeks? Two weeks. 10 million naira. You heard me. 10 million naira. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, let me understand this. 10 million naira mm -hmm. for just two weeks? Two, two weeks. weeks. Babe. Why don't you prolong it to like one year, two years, five years, in fact forever, so that the money will keep flowing? Yes. Why two weeks? Well, that's because I told him I'm in a relationship and my boyfriend loves me just right. But the guy wouldn't take no for an answer. And then, because he just wants to prove himself that he is the right man for me, he offered me 10 million naira to date him just for two weeks. Yes. And girls, that's not all. Within these two weeks, there will be no touching body. If there is any touching body, it will incur extra charges. <laughs> hey, hold on. This guy, I don't, I'm not sure this guy is from Nigeria. Are you kidding me right now? I'm not. Listen to me, babe. <laughs> if I were to be in your shoes, I would seduce him every day. Hey. Before that two weeks elapses, my money will be plenty. <laughs> what are you telling me? Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. Before you seduce him, Babe, what are you talking about? Do you know how much is 10 million naira? Let it not be all these guys that will talk and talk and talk. At the end of the day, you will not see Shishi. Has he given you any money? Look at these girls. Why am I excited? Why? I said the guy credited me 5 million naira instantly. It's with an additional 500,000 naira just for saying yes. Eh? 5 Hundred thousand, yeah. babe. We don't have my. We don't have my. <laughs> see, see, listen. No play also. No, no, just try them. That five hundred thousand naira is for us, of course, you know, no, because no. Esther and I convinced you to give that guy a number. If not, uh -huh. oh, you get your head. Okay. Exactly. That five hundred k is for us because for us. I remember that day. You were crossing your leg, mm, crossing. forming governor's daughter, forming big chica, Ajebo. You never wanted to give him one. your number. We were the ones that pushed you. So if you know what's good for you, now do the need for Okay, that's not a problem. That's not a problem, girls. I'll give it to you. Um, um, I don't know. I'm thinking about Billy G. That guy loves me for real. I don't want to be ungrateful. This girl, as in, I don't understand. Where you from come? That guy loves me for, for street again. Now the talk loves you. How? For streets? I'm not a street girl. I'm the governor's daughter. Excuse me. Don't they tell me that thing. Don't they tell me. Girl, see, for Billy G, 
Leave Billy G, we go handle her. Uh, we go run Billy G for you. But you know Billy G, you will come off in house. Leave his house. There's nobody on the streets that lives with her boyfriend. You're not going to live with your boyfriend. Better move. Pack house from Billy G's house. What are you not talking? Um, um, Mercy is right. Billy G loves her, no doubt. And I don't want to be ungrateful. Forget that thing, but on a second thought. What did they try to talk? Babe, now street you day. Nothing like love for street. Nothing like L-O-V-E for street. They know they do one. You understand? So you're never supposed to live with Billy G. I, I, know, I don't understand. Take a very good look at us. We are in our own house. We don't live with our boyfriends now. Yeah, no, no. You cannot play such games while you are staying with your man. He no go give you a chance. He must catch you. Uh, you understand? So if you won't play this kind of game, hmm, make it sure for you. You can move out. Use your head, though. Mm. Anyways, um, I'll be leaving Billy G's house in two days' time. I already told him. Uh -huh. like that. Okay, my other. So, nice uh, our other, yes. No, uh, no. I, no. I this girl, she's just coming back this morning. I never hammer this no, morning. No, be me, and you go, but you don't hammer. No, <laughs> Thank you so much. I wasn't expecting this 12 million so soon. I mean, I'm not even ready for the business yet. Well, I thought that will inspire you to, you know, get started immediately. Because there's no point procrastinating. Oh, you know, when I was coming to Nigeria, I, I, I didn't see this coming. In fact, I was more afraid than hopeful. Well, I... I have asked myself this question if I'm, if I'm moving too fast, you know, because I haven't even asked you how you feel about me. I don't know if, if you feel the same way I feel for you. Well, I'm in love. Now I know I am in love. Put your hand on my chest. Is beaten so fast. Yes, it is. This is love and fear. Fear of the unknown. I'm afraid of what will happen between us. I don't know. Well, I don't know what your friends must have told you about me. But I want to tell you this. When I love I love with everything in me, okay? I love you with my soul, my body, and I don't know what else to say, but actually, I know I love this woman, <laughs> and I haven't felt like that for anyone in my life before. So, why me? Well, I love the fact that regardless of where you're coming from, you're different. Mm. I have never, ever been this in love with anyone. So, why me? I have been in a couple of relationships in the past, but it didn't end well because they had selfish reasons, you know. Some of them was in my life because of what it's time to gain. Maybe because of my money or something. You see that day we went to get you a phone and you turned down the phone because of the price changed all the mindset I have about you. Positive mindset. Mm. <laughs> Love you, baby. <laughs>
is your love Hello? You sound like you're awake. Why are you calling this late? I mean, some men here are confusing me with love. It's crazy. You know, you're the one I love. Then come down to the village and let's get married. Ha! Ah. No, I can't come to the village. And I can't get married to you. You know that. I, I, I can't do that. I mean, you know, aside from me and my mom, there's nothing there for me. Then what do you want me to do? Stop pretending like you don't know what I'm doing here in the city. You are the one that taught me to work smart and be ruthless in seizing opportunities. And you are the one that opened my eye to, 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 to know that uh, what my body means to men. And trust me, I regret ever teaching you those things. Listen, I need your advice. Like I said, um, these men, they, they are giving me millions. They, they, they are professing their love to me. They are giving me millions. I don't know what to do. They said they want to get married to me. I don't want to get married to them. I want to make money, more money, plenty money. Hence, you've chosen to trade on that part. You have to man up and do whatever you want to do. I never taught you that working smart does not come with its own burden. You have to show that it burden now. But you know it's not going to be easy. It's not easy. I never told you that it will be easy. Did I? Uh. Good night.
Baby. Hey, baby. You're dressed already. Yes, I am. I mean, if I'm to become the richest black woman, I have to wake up early and leave home early. Of course. That's true. So, what are you up to? Um, I want to go and see some Chinese guys. I want to discuss about um, producing products in China. Baby, what do you think 12 million naira can produce in China? I think that's way too poor I'm going into production. Yeah, you have a point, but I read a bit about cosmetics and um, with a little more money, I can own my own cosmetics line. Mm. Mm -hmm. Impressive. Someone is about to become the next Kylie Jenner. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'm running. I, I love the fact that you're, you're pushing regardless. And I'm always here to support you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. That's my baby. Okay, so um, you meet up with them and let's see how it goes. All right, mm -hmm. then. Um, I have to run along, baby. I'm almost late. Your phone. Yeah, I know, right? Thank you. So, um, the car key. Okay, let's go. Baby. I'll drop you off there. Oh, that's thoughtful of you. the house now. I'm on the road as we speak. Yes. No, I'm not driving. I hired the cab. Um, send the address. Yes, that's why I called. Come in. Hey. Can I sit? Have a seat. You're welcome to my office. Thank you. I am so sorry for stressing you. It's fine, it's okay. So, um, do you care for anything to drink? Nothing. I mean, with the flurry of activities I saw downstairs, I can tell it's a busy money for you. Yes, it is. So why did you ask me to come here to meet you when you know you're busy? Nothing much. Nothing much? Mm-hmm. So you asked me to come out here to sit with you? Really? Yes. You know what I think I have to do? I, I, I will do it, please. Please sit down. Have a seat. Please. Well, um, I don't want you to leave just yet. I want you to stay for a while. Oh. So what will I be doing sitting down here with you? I have something to show you. So just give me a few minutes to finish what I'm doing, okay?
baby, what? I should do what? Kiss. If you like kiss. I'm not kissing you. <laughs> Just stop. Stop. Just stop. I say good. Just stop it. Da, 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 da. I know that I won't die. Oh, I feel good. Oh, what's wrong with you? Oh, I feel my love. I will call you I feel back. good. I don't da, know what you're going to do. I'll call you back. I know that I want you. Oh, I feel good. 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 Oh, I I don't know. Fat, follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Come, 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 come. Follow me. Follow me. Okay. Hold on. What is this car doing here? Who, who is the owner of this this car? Are you asking me such question? Yes. Really? Okay. I'll give you an answer. Now. You need Shook an now. Uh huh. What is going on, Mandy? Now, to answer your question, this is my mob. Hey! <laughs> ah! I'm serious! I'm serious! But, but, babe, bought you a car? Uh, 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 uh. No. Andrew bought me this car today. Ah! Are you kidding me? <laughs> wait, wait, babes. So you knew all along that Andrew was to buy you a car and you didn't tell oh, us. Oh no. no, 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 I don't. It was actually a surprise. It came as a surprise. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wash it. We're going to rock this car. I am taking you to Chinese. That's right. Bees on Ma. Oh my God. Oh, we are the, oh, 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 you got a lot of that. <laughs> I can't wait, I'm so excited. Goodness, I can't still believe this. You have to believe it, baby. Likewise. I'm so happy for you, girl. I'm a car owner. <laughs> <laughs> and babes, babes, babes. Um, please, I I'll have to pack this car here for now. I don't want Billy G to know about it yet until I come up with a cover story to tell him on how I got the car. You see that he will keep telling you. You have to leave Billy G's house. Exactly. Leave his house, babe. They know they do love for streets. I'm not a street girl. Besides, I've got that covered already. I'll be leaving Billy G's house tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yes. And this Billy G, I suppose, is the one that I will drop you in the evening, right? Mm-hmm. He must not see that car parked outside. Mm -hmm. Yes, you you have a point. You're right. Um, in that case, I have to look for somewhere else to park the car. Okay, you know what? Um, you don't have to bother yourself. I or Messi will drive the car to a safe place. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are lifesavers. All right you. then. All right then. Um, I have to leave now, okay? I need to get home before the Liji. I've got a lot of things to do today. Okay, like wife material thing. Wife material wife thing. Material. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I a car holder. Let me drop the car. Let me not forget this. Very important. Okay, money, very important. Too. Don't worry, I'll credit you. 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 Trust money. me, trust me. <laughs> you are money. Money will do you money. something. Money will do you something. <laughs> money. money. I love money. Money. She did not drop the money. She's lucky. Hey, baby. Hi, love. I called to check on you. Are you home? Yes, I'm home, but not like home, home. Oh, you are in this house? Yes, but I'll be leaving here by tomorrow evening. So, will I get to see you then? I hope so. So, are you still at the office? 
Okay, so when will you be leaving the office? Um, that should be around 6 p.m. All right, so when you get home, what would you eat? I don't know yet. Okay, I'm about to prepare all her soup. Do you want some? Yes, I do. Okay, what will you have it with? Wheat or semo? Oh. Alright then, um, I will have to send the delivery bike to come and deliver it to you by, let's say, um, um, 10 minutes past 6. Is it okay by you? Okay, my love. Alright then, I have to go, baby. I really have to go. Talk to you later. Bye. How did it go with the Chinese company? It went well. Now I'm able to know what it will cost to start a um, business of um, at least three skincare products. Interesting. So what are the prices? Um, product developments will cost approximately 5,000 US dollars. Yes, if you multiply by three, it will cost um, 15,000 US dollars each. Wow, that's really capital intensive. We are looking at um, 100 million and above. Yeah. And we haven't even talked about shipping. We haven't talked about custom. We haven't talked about NAVDAC approval. We haven't talked about repackaging. True. We haven't talked about um, uh, advertising, so it's really high, it's really high. I think so too. Um, maybe I will have to think about um, another kind of business. I think so. Well, <clears throat> um, things like this, you start small. Like before I achieved all of this, I started small. If I got, I got to this point, so I feel you start small, maybe with one product. Then when that one goes in, then you can switch to having different um, skincare products. You, know, you have a point. I mean. You have a point. I'll come up with something. Trust me, I know. I will. Mm -hmm. I will. Thank you, Billy. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> How can I describe this your love, this your love? Asking, why are you smiling? Oh, <laughs> well, my aunt is about to get me a car. Really? <gasps> yes. So, do you think it's best you, you hide it from me? I think you should <laughs> tell me, even when you go to the I'm telling you now. I'm sorry, I didn't know about it. It's actually coming as a surprise. I don't even know the kind of car yet. <laughs> this way. Okay. <laughs> What's funny? Uh, Why are you laughing? Uh, no, because I don't believe what you said one bit. Actually, I don't. You don't believe me? Yeah. I, how can you possibly say that? Billy, what? You don't believe the story I told you? Like, for real? How can't you believe me? 
the story I told you, my mom told me. Uh, well, it doesn't really sound believing for me. I mean, it's just like saying an elephant has wings and, you know, flee to the skies. Can you imagine? Uh, okay, okay. Fine. I believe you, baby. I believe you. Hmm? It's fine. I believe you. Are you sure? Yeah. You believe me? Everything you said, the story. <laughs> I believe you. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Let's go take our bath. My butt is sticky. I know. I'm not going. Let's go. We have to go. I said I believe you already. Are you still angry? Why? I believe you. Okay. You have to carry me. Carry you? Yes. Well, I walked out today, so why not? Yay! Go. <laughs> okay. Did I hear someone say baby? Wow, I am certainly finding my way into your heart. Um, hope you're fine. You didn't, you didn't get back to me um, as regards the food I sent across to you. Oh, the food, it was very delicious. I practically licked my fingers. You should make more of that for me. I wanted to call you, but I know you are at home, so I didn't want to bother you. Yes, I'm still here. No, thanks for the assessment of my food, okay? Don't worry, I'll cook more for you, okay? You eat more of my cooking. Uh, I have to go. You will soon be out of the bathroom. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. All right, bye. Baby, are you not done baiting? Baby, I'm sorry. Hi, um. Oh, oh. Ne, please, can you get me my phone uh, uh, inside? It's on top of that television there. Okay. Let me call her, I can't tell her my health condition. Okay, mom, I'm coming. Oh, ne, thank you. Mama here. Oh, thank you. Oh. Sorry. Oh, no. No. Oh. I don't know how else to. 
see how much I feel for you. I would be of my life. I keep thanking her for bringing in someone like you in my life. You're all I want. You're all I wish. Amaka is not picking her calls. I don't understand this. I can't even understand this pen. I saw what beat me. It was a black giant ant. Huh. And I killed it and squeezed the body and rubbed it at the, at, at the spot. Good. So I see no reason why this pen will be up like this. It's too much. Um, ne. Mama. Please, I'm sorry we said that I'm, I'm troubling you. No, ma. Uh, please. You're not. Uh, do you know that uh, English teacher that is uh, teaching at evening school? Oh, yes, ma. I know him very well. You know him? Yes, ma. Hey, thank God. Please, you will rush to call him for me. He's a friend to Amaka, my daughter. Thank you. Uh, 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 tell him he's too so urgent. You know? If he wants to know what the problem is, explain my health condition to him. Okay, Mama. You know? Let me hurry. You will be okay. Oh, ne. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Could my mother have left her phone? Why is she not picking? Mama, pick now. Why are you not picking? Pick, 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 pick.
finally, oh, the angel of the house is back, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> and Billy. We hope you brought her back with some goodies. <laughs> exactly. You know she's right, Billy. You have not been fair to us. Ever since I hooked you guys up, you haven't come to show appreciation, and that's unfair. It's not nice. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Can we can we go out? You know, lit somewhere up. Yay! <laughs> that's the spirit, girl. We're in. We're in. We're that's in. Okay. We're in. Yeah, all right. yeah, in that case, girls, you guys have to go with Billy Jean. I've got a lot of things to do. <sighs> Why? I'm, I'm busy. And baby, you can go out with my friends. Just get me things when you're coming back, okay? Um, let me just drop this, okay? Have some, baby. It's fine. Do you need help? No, I'm fine. Okay. Well, uh... uh it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, I'll be right back. Okay. okay. Let me go check them out. Ah, so, Billy, how have you been doing? What's up? Well, I think you're no. looking good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My Thank girl you. is definitely taking care of you. No, she is. She is definitely. <laughs> Babe, what's up now? Why don't you want to go with us? It's not like I don't want to go with you, girls. But Andrew has been calling me like hell, and I've already promised him that I'll be with him. That's the reason I left this village's house. Well, I understand though. You know that guy drops cash, like big cash. So I understand why you, you have to stay with him. You can say that again. As for Billy J, don't worry. He's going to be fine with us. Right. <laughs> right. And you guys should go and have fun. So where's the car? I need to go out. Um... The car? The car is parked somewhere in the street. So once we leave with Billy G, I'm going to send a guy to bring it in. How about that? That's cool. <laughs> you guess you can have fun, okay? Just have fun, okay? I've already convinced Billy G that my aunt in Abuja is getting me a car. <clears throat> so when he sees the car, I'll tell him that's the car my aunt got for me. Look at you! <laughs> if I say you don't sharp pass us for this game. Oh. That is it, baby. Yeah. Yeah. You have yesterday. <gasps> really. Mm-hmm. Happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. My girl. Do you really want me to show you some of my moves? Are you sure you're ready? Baby, um, you're killing me. Can you, oh, damn. Can you come to bed, please? Um, 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 no. If you want me to come to bed, you have to spray me. Oh, you want me to spray you some Benjamins? Spray me money. <laughs> you should have said that a long time ago. Benjamins you want and Benjamins you should get. Okay. You want Benjamins, right? Yes. Huh? Money. Huh? <laughs> Money. Huh? Money. Benjamin. Yeah, baby. Benjamin. Yeah, baby. Oh. Here you go. Here you go. Ooh. Oh. Benjamin. So you want? Benjamin. That's what you want? Ooh. Ooh. There you go. Mm. 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 Today, 
What? Come again, please. What did you just say? What do you mean by Mandy's mom is suffering in the village? She's not with me right now. She went out. She said she was going to meet her business partner. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, fine. Once I hang up now, I'll, I'll call her. Okay, bye. What do you mean? What's wrong with Mandy's mom? Sorry, did, did I hear you say Mandy's mom in the village? Hold on guys, I'm still trying to digest this. Like, stop now, stop. Just tell us, tell us, what is it? Uh, you remember Emeka, right? Emeka, the village teacher? Yes, the one with him. Uh, he said that uh, Mandy's mom is critically ill in the village. What? Are you sure you know what you're saying? But when did Mandy's mom return from America? Oh, no, 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 no. This can't be. Mandy's father must be at work. That evil man. From what Emeka said, Mandy's mom has been in the village. Are you kidding me? Definitely not. I mean, Emeka said that Mandy's mom was beaten by a snake. And... Probably she thought it was a bite from an ordinary ant. She didn't take it serious. And the doctors are fighting for her life as we speak right now. No, no, this can't be. It was the same Emeka that brought Mandy to this house. Initially, said the girl was coming to this house from the village. Yes. But when the girl got here, the story changed. Huh? You're right. I, you're correct. <laughs> wait, wait. I'm, 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 really, I'm really trying to digest what you just said now. <sighs> if Mandy's mom has been living in the village, like you claim, that means her father was never an ex-governor. So Mandy has been lying to me. Do you know I denied my ex all the chances of coming back all because of Mandy? And Mandy will look at me and lie to me. She's been deceiving me. No, I, I, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Really? Um, um, Billy, it's not that she's lying to you. But why not wait for her to come back? At least you hear from her before you conclude. Oh, wow. Exactly, she's, she's right. This is okay. crazy. Really? Okay, who did Mandy go to see in Abuja? Of course, she told you people she's traveling to Abuja. Now tell me, who did she go to see? Okay. You both have suddenly gone deaf. Right? Fine. In case you have forgotten, let me remind you. Mandy told me she was going to Abuja to see her aunt. She told me her, her mom sent, sent um, um, some, some stuffs or items or whatever to her aunt in Abuja, so she's going to get it. Didn't she tell you that? And she also told me her aunt was planning to get her a car. Car? Yes. Is any of her relatives planning to get a car for her? Um, car? I don't know. Do you know? Does she even know how to drive? No car at all. There's no car. There's no car on ground. Mm. I don't even know who is confused among you people. Seriously. <laughs> uh, you don't know anything concerning a car? No, no. no, no. We, we don't, don't know. know. There's no, no car. car Mandy don't. Uh -uh. Mandy. Mandy. 
Car. How can you tell me you don't know anything concerning your friend, her mom's whereabouts, where she lives and stuff? Mandy, where is your mom? My mom, she's in the US, of course, I told you. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so, um... She's in the U.S.? Yes. Okay. So when last did you speak to your mom? Because mm -hmm. I could remember the last time you told me that um, you spoke to her and she complained about the snow being on minus, minus five and stuff like that. She was so cold that you guys couldn't um, have a proper conversation. And also you told me um, concerning uh, I've forgotten this man's name. She told me so many names, actually. I'm just trying to remember. Um, this man, um, George. Yes, George. He told me something about George and your father being the S governor. You know, so... Um, <laughs> I don't get it. What was this question? No, it's, it's not like a question. I'm just trying to remind you what you told me. And you told me your father is trying to contest for president, right? Hi. Yeah, from, from governor to being a president. Of which I advised you... The little I know about politics. So why we are seated here, uh, you know, it popped up on TV, on CNN actually. You know, your family is very popular. Uh, so we saw that your mom was beaten by a snake in the village while weeding in her farmland. So as I speak to you right now, your mom is struggling with her life in the village because she was beaten by a snake while weeding in her farmland. What happened to my mom? Everything is clear now. So, Mandy. Mandy, so you've been lying to me all this while. Jesus Christ. You have been deceiving me. So your mom never lived in America. Your mom has been living in the village. What do you stand to gain? Hey. Jesus. Better call Emeka. Emeka said your mother is very, very sick. Girl, you can lie. Hey. Hey. Lie no Girlfriend. Lie no Girlfriend. No, Emeka. I'm very nice for you all. I'll just tell her that his breast. I carry breast up for her. Mm -hmm. Hey! Jesus! Hey! Can you imagine you were in the village? You were in the village. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you're, you're living, you're, you're living. living too. You're living. And you're not blaming him now. Last night was hell. It was really, really terrible. I just finished speaking with the doctor now before you walked in. What happened to her? Uh, she was bitten by a snake, but she mistook it to be uh, this black giant ant or something. I warned her. I warned her not to go to the farm, but she wouldn't listen. Mm. I just pray nothing happens to her. No, she's fine. She's stable. She's okay now. She's in a good condition. Um, the doctor just went through the test result and has administered an anti-venom on her, so she's stable. Oh, thank God for that. Yeah. All right then, um, okay. let me go on. So All right then. And you, listen, I am not happy with you, but I'll see you later. Couldn't you have told them my mom was sick without revealing my secrets? Mandy, your mother's life was on the line. I couldn't fabricate any kind of life at that point in time. I called you severally, but you were not picking up your call. And I guess you were with one of your boyfriends. I was jealous and angry at the same time. Oh, please! Please! You could have done better! Don't tell me that! Don't tell me that! No, you no, ridiculed no. me before my friends in the city! Right now, my boyfriend thinks I'm a fraud because of you! Mandy, you don't need those things. Don't tell me what to think. Mandy, you are beautiful. You have a very good personality. Your poor background will not post any negative thing in your life. Please, 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 please. Don't even go there. Don't even go there. Right now, I'm a laughing stock before my friends in the city. And you sit down here to tell me this. Don't 
Don't say that to me. Mandy, your friends are not angry with you. They are not mad at you. As a matter of fact, they were surprised how you were able to sell those lies to them. <laughs> if you have any work to do, it has to be where your boyfriend is. <laughs> Clap for yourself. And how would you know that? How do you know they are not mad at me? How do you know that? Mandy, I have been talking with your friends since you came down to the village. It may surprise you to know that they are on their way from the city to the village to see you. What? What is all this now? What is all this? It's not enough you ridicule me before my friends. You want them to come and see the dungeon I live in? Really? You see you? You see you? I will not forgive you. Mandy, I calm, promise you that. Calm down. Your friends love you. They care about your mother's welfare. They are coming to see your mother. Just calm down. I should calm down. Oh yes, you need to. Okay. I am. But I do not forgive you. You guys have seen where I came from. My father is not an ex-governor. He died a poor farmer. And my mother is not from the US. The woman you saw inside is my mother. This rat hole is where I crawled out from. Um, now that you guys know the truth about me, you can have a good laugh. Go ahead, laugh. Come on, Mandy, nobody is laughing at you. I am not laughing at you. Esther is not laughing at you. Listen, we understand why you had to do what you did. Yes, the street is tough. So you had to lie to survive. So I personally, I understand. Okay? <laughs> Just forget about it. Eh, eh. Don't not to worry. You're still my friend. You're still our friend. <laughs> yes, we do. Are you, are you, are you sure? Eh, yes, you are. Even our flatmate. Mm. You're still our flatmate. You know, Mandy, in my head, I can't still reconcile you coming out from this place. Yes, hold on, I have to set my mind. In my head, I still see you as the daughter of an ex-governor. And your mom still live in the US, right? <laughs> Don't misunderstand me, Mandy. I'm sorry. But do you even know the hatred I had for that your ex-governor father? Do you even know? You see? I said it. I knew you were going to laugh at me. Come on, just no, continue. No. I, I knew it. Mandy, no. I, Esther, no, she didn't mean it that way. Nobody's laughing at you. I'm not laughing at you. She's not laughing at you. Even myself, I'll do the same thing. Do you know how many lies I've told in this world? Even my boyfriend I used to be there now. Everybody used to be there. You, you, you've heard the lies about you. Yes, flat you're meat. still our flat yes, meat, our friend. Still... Yes, we are, we are still friends. I think... We should just forget about this, okay? Exactly. Let's stop talking about ourselves and talk about Billy G. <sighs> yes, Mandy, that guy is hurting. He's really hurting. Please, you have to do something, Mandy. <sighs> talking about that, I doubt if I can look at him at the face and explain these things to him. How am I going to do it? Try. Try. I don't know how. Just give it a try, okay? Mama, you are the cause of all this embarrassment. If you had listened to me, all this wouldn't have happened. Stop going to the farm. You refuse. I gave you enough money to give to Agarasha and other laborers to help you out, but no, you will not listen. It's like you like suffering. Ne, ne, please, I'm sorry. Oh, oh I'm, don't be angry with me again, please. I was only doing what I love to do, not knowing what it might cost. Now that I have seen it, I, I, I promise I will, I will amend. Mama, you better amend though. You better amend. If only you realize the embarrassment you've caused me, Mama. Please stop going to the farm. Though I've forgiven you because I can't stay angry with you for long. But please don't go again. Don't even go to your own farm. Don't go. You have enough money. Hire people to work for you. Please, Pico. Ne, I've heard you. You don't even need to tell me all that. Not after all I suffered. Biko, I will amend. I will not go to the farm again. I will not. 
don't go again no. there's enough money there for you you can use it as long as you want to use it but please don't go to the farm again not even your own oh. Biko, i'm leaving tomorrow morning for the city please good night you've heard me oh girls told me you've forgiven me. However, I'm still struggling to accept it. I want to move in with Andrew for some days. Being away from here will help me a lot, at least to clear my head. Hey. <laughs> Listen, Mandy, you can do that. You can do that. I understand why you said you want to move in with him. It's cool. I get you. But please, don't do that. Have you forgotten you're the one that makes this house bars? Come on, dear. Come on. I know the reason you lied. Because you don't want anybody to refer you as a village girl. I understand. Let's forget about that. It's the past. Let's move on, like one family, like friends again, okay? Please. <laughs> Can you even hear yourself speak? No, 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 you want to rush and move in with Andrew, just like that. Instead of you to be planning or struggling on how to make things up with Billy G. You're here talking about moving in with Andrew. What is wrong with you, Mandy? Okay. Madame Reconciliation, what should I tell him? I mean, what? yeah, anything. You, you can just tell him that you, you, you knew you came from a very poor background. Like, you knew you were a bush girl, you know, and you don't want to be ridiculed or something like that. He will understand. I can even do that. I mean, it's, it's not a big deal. Esther. So how do I explain the Abuja trip and the car? Um, talking about the Abuja trip, be boss up. Where have you been going to? Who have you been seeing in Abuja? Not oh. true. Hmm? Who did they go knock? I didn't go to Abuja. Hmm? In fact, I've never been there. Is it? All this why I claimed that I went to Abuja. I actually went to the village to see my mom. Hey! hey. Eh? Babe, Bella. Jesus. I give please, you please, 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 Can we just let this matter be for a while? Man, what is this now? Ah. I doubt if I'll ever be in the right frame of mind to discuss anything with Billie Jean now. I don't know what to tell him. You see this my hand where they up, he had to come down. Girl, you are a damn good oh liar. Oh God, not again. Jeez. I'm a liar, but this girl, she is the boss. Like, I respect okay. you. Can we let this matter oh die? What is it? You know, are you going to me? crucify me? I'm not. It's just that if they try to forget what you do, they do another one. Anyways, okay. <laughs> this whole matter has made this house corrosive. I think the best thing for us to do is to go and change. And yes, let's change and go and chill. Now you're talking. Jesus. You have a point. If I offend. Okay, girls, okay, girls, calm down. Listen, we do not have to take ourselves Jesus. out. Andrew has been dying to see me. Aww. Let's go help him spend his money. Yes! <laughs> let's go and attack. Spend Anything <laughs> money? Whether they use here, they hear money. I like money. Whether they use juju, which I want. Nobody go use me, hey, you know Let's what? go and spend hey, money. You know what? Oh, Let's go and spend Let's money. Let's go and Let's go and spend money. money. Okay then. Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, stop, 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 stop. Money, money. Hey, Messi and the money. What's the problem? So, you like the skate? Oh, 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 o
Yeah. 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 I've asked her to pay for what she bought through her banking app, but she refused. What was the one supposed to do? Shut! Oh, did you just speak? No! Did you just speak? Oh, what the hell? 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 Hold on, let me. Hold on, hold on. I should not stop her. Just, just, just hold on, first. Let me know what she's up to. It's okay. I'll pay for it. Don't worry. Hey, Madam Cash, she will pay for it. Did you just hear that? Just hold on, hold on. Okay, have okay. money. Yes. No problem. Thirty-one thousand, Emma. Thirty-one thousand. Okay, this is thirty-two thousand. Okay, ma. Thank okay, you, ma. Thirty-one thousand for your trouble. Alright, ma. Thirty-two thousand. Okay. She even dashed the one thousand, like extra change. That's rich auntie vibes. Bye. <laughs> Keep the change. Okay. Okay. It's okay. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I was just saying this also. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Peace Just a little bit Thank you. Thank you. Come here. Just help this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sister. Oh, that won't be necessary. Eh? What? What? Eh? You say? I'm Clubbing tonight. Clubbing? Yes. yes. Hmm. What do you guys think about Exhale? Mm, no, 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 no. Um, how about Oxygen? Oxygen is so fine. It's nice. You can check it out. It's fine. <laughs> I've not been there before. Besides, Exhale is outdated. So I think Oxygen is okay. Let's yes. try that, please. I want to go somewhere conducive and classy. You're in the spirit, girl, <laughs> like somewhere very cool, no loud music, like a get together stuff. You understand what yes. I mean? I don't want no Esther, you're in the spirit. <laughs> Thank you. Well, um, I wasn't planning on going for Abby's house party, but since you girls want that kind of crowd, I can just make a call and then we'll have a pass so we can boogie down with a trendy and famous. Are you kidding me? Why? Did I hear you say? Abe, you mean Abe da go go? It's the same one. 
Yeah, hello Esther. Good morning. Good morning. You good? We partied all night at Abidagogo's residence. I'm very tired right now. The Abidagogo I know? Abidagogo's residence, you heard me. Oh, I see. Was Mandy in attendance? Of course she was there. And it's the Abby that you know. Do you have a problem with that? Okay. <laughs> so, um... I'm here. All alone, trying to recover from all the lies and everything she did to me. And she's out there partying. Right? Listen, Billy. You just have to hear her out first before jumping into conclusions, okay? And yet she hasn't called me. She's been living her life like she doesn't care. You know what? I, I want to see you. That's why I called. When, when can we see, please? Okay, just give me a few hours and I'll be with you. All right, thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How was your night? Fine. Slept well? Yeah, we did. Yes. That's good. Are, are you guys leaving? We are ready to go. All oh, right. Yeah. Why is um, Mandy? She's still sleeping. Yes, she's still sleeping. Please tell her that we're ready to go. Okay. Uh, be right back. Okay. <laughs> Friends asked me to tell you that they are leaving. Okay, you still have to go. I'll see them in the evening. Okay. Please try and take a bath. Yeah.
Um, hello, Lizzie. Hi. Hi, Mandy. Good morning. Good morning. Trust you slept well. Uh, I just want to say a very big thank you. In fact, a huge thank you for your kind gestures towards me yesterday. Thank you so much. Oh, it's okay. I'm glad I could help. In fact, you were God sent. Thank you again. So, um, a quick one. I, I want to do you an invite from our small get-together with one or two of my friends. Just something very small, you know, in Akakus. <laughs> so I want to kindly invite you and your friends to come honor me, please. Oh, that's very nice of you. What time is the event? Uh, say 4.35 this evening. It's okay, we'll be there, okay? Just send the address, okay? Ah, thank you. Of course, I'll send it to you right away. Thank you so much, darling. Hoping to see you soon. Right? Bye. <laughs> Sweet girl. Uh, hey. Yeah. So, five today. Don't miss it. Listen, Billy, you just have to calm down and sort things out with Monday. I believe you guys can work this out. <laughs> there is nothing to sort out with Monday. We are done. And that ends it. I mean, there is no point being in a relationship with someone you don't trust. It's never a good idea. So as it stands now, I have absolutely nothing to do with Mandy again. Well, I won't blame you at all. Because Mercy and I were also shocked to the bone when we found out that all she has been saying our lies. I mean, Mandy went too far. Nobody they lie, quite all right. All of us they lie. But this one, it passed me. She's evil. Hey, <laughs> my goodness. I want to ask you a question, and I. I want you to be very sincere. Okay. Shoot. Who bought Mandy that car? Okay. Billy, you and I know that Mandy has no aunt in Abuja, right? So let me just tell you the truth. Her new boyfriend bought her the car.
her new boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> so it was her new boyfriend that she went to see in Abuja. Um, that girl is very, very wicked. Um, Billy, just calm down. Um, no, stop telling me to calm down. I'm not sure about that because she traveled to the village to see her mom. Billy, we have been there. You need to see the poor, dirty environment Mandy came out from. Jeez. I couldn't breathe. Like the place is so local. <sighs> I don't even know how to describe it anymore. And she has been acting up. <laughs> hey, Monday is a good address, no doubt. If you see the village, the pit that girl came out from, my goodness, I couldn't move. It was so irritating. How I wish you were there to see things for yourself. Billy, you will never talk to that girl again in your life. Jeez. Hmm. <laughs> My goodness. Man, I will definitely hurt her back. You see what she did to me? You see what she did to me? No, if I don't do it, that means I'm stupid now. That means I don't know myself. If I let that girl go, go scot free for what she did to me. Just she hurt my soul, my trust, everything shattered. Just calm down. Because she wants to play games. She feels she can play games with me. Billy, Kama is a bitch. And it will definitely catch up with her. Don't work yourself up. Don't, don't say don't that. Don't stress yourself. Don't say that. It's not everything that Kama will do for you. Sometimes you just have to take the bull by the horn. How can she do this to me? Do you know how I speak, how, how I speak about her in the presence of my mom? To the extent that my mom disturbs me all the time to bring her over. It's fine. Just Do you know I gave her 12 million naira for business? So and she had the mind to do that to me. She didn't tell us who. No, she won't tell you because she's a devil. 12 million. It's hot, man. It's hot. That's huge. Uh, anyways. <laughs> I mean, 12 million, I don't think 12 million is a big deal to Mandy because her new boyfriend flaunts money on her like it's nothing. So, I don't think it's a big deal to her. Oh, yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't do charity organization here. She has to talk to the new boyfriend to provide every damn thing. Well, I don't want to talk. When the time comes, I cannot let this go. That means I'm a fool. That means I'm a fool to... The... Okay. Just watch and see. Now you Just need to. Just watch and see. Need to Billy with the Millie. Billy. <laughs> no, 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 no. He Billy. will provide every damn thing. Every... Okay. Billy, you need to calm down, okay? It's all right. Can't be a fool. It's okay, calm down. You'll be fine, okay? I don't want you to walk yourself up. Don't let it get to you. Listen, okay, you will get over this, okay? Trust me, you will get over this. Forget about Monday. <laughs> okay? Hmm. Okay? No. Calm down, okay? Keep a bad mind, though. It's fine.
Les okay. les bon. Les who is the young fair sweet beautiful lady in there? <laughs> um she's Monday. Monday uh, maybe I told you about um rescue me and the restaurant in the day. I told you about her, right? She's such a beautiful girl. A beautiful lady. She's she's got a sweet soul. You know, she's just a sweet girl all around. So, what's up? She's a sweet girl. Yeah, I've seen her. She's a sweet girl. She looks beautiful. <laughs> Lizzie, baby. Is there any way you can connect us? I mean, I can get her introduces. <laughs> Do I know you? <laughs> okay, okay. Kelly. Yeah, as well. You want me to smooth things out for you, right? Yeah, you know what I want. You know what I want. <laughs> well, okay, yeah. You want a sister on the other side. It's fine. Ah, uh, that lady. Mm? She has a high class in beauty. So, talking to her or getting her down won't be that easy. But on my part, I'll do something. I'll try my best. Okay? But on your part, are you ready to do something? She's of a high class. Mm hmm. <laughs> Am I of a low class? I will say that. <laughs> I will not say that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I will say that. Come on, come on, I will say that. Oh. Getting ready, you're talking about. Is it not money? But you will say, get a soup, work it on, right? And you think I don't have the kind of money to cook this soup? I didn't say that either. Get her for me, I'll take care of you. Well, okay. You know, I took a lot of you and I'm happy. <laughs> um, well, as um, some of you here know, I did not um, organize this little party just in a cackles, you know, for us to meet again as friends. I am doing this because I want to appreciate some of you here for standing by me, with me and for me. You know, you guys have been so amazing. Even when I, I um, lost my mom, I, you guys were all there to cheer me up and then it got me the courage to stand again. I'm saying thank you. Baba K, thank you so much. Thank you for everything. And for my newfound friend Mandy and my friends, I appreciate you for coming, for honoring me, giving me short, short notice. Thank you so much. And I hope that this bond of friendship will not fade away. I'm grateful that you could make it for me. God bless you again, and I love you all. We love you too. <laughs> yeah! Thank you, thank you. I don't want to cry, okay? So please, let me have to continue. It's my day. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm still thinking. Seriously thinking. I don't get it at all. I don't get it. Why will all wealthy men be chasing Mandy? Wealthy ones, so so, Mandy, Mandy all the time. Why? One person. Hmm. Okay. Are you just waking? Okay. <laughs> so, you've been sitting down since pints they wear you. You don't know, say there are levels to this. Hey. That thing is nothing more than juju. You cannot tell me nothing. That thing is juju. Are we not beautiful enough? Ask me. Like, babe, I know say I pack it. See, I'm not. I know galant. Hey. I don't know that side. I'm not going to do So what are you telling me? What are you telling me? That we and Mandy will go out and she'll be the one catching the big, big fish. I don't get it. I don't want to catch it. Who wants to get it? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get, get it. it. Hmm? Okay. Come to think of it. Did you not see the village... The kind of environment she came out from. I saw it too. Hey, hey. There is definitely a strong babalawa that is somewhere doing something for Mandy. What will you now follow Mandy? What are you telling me? Is she not a beautiful girl? She just came out you from nowhere. And right. all of a sudden, she started meeting wealthy men. Are you kidding me right now? Hmm. You're right. I concur to that. What is it? Even that Babalawo, that Babalawo is damn good. She's giving her foul every day. Foul. Big foul, foul. every day. Foul is a ah, what is it now? We're clean, beautiful. Be Very cows. beautiful. Cows every and I know that they say blacks don't crack. Is it Mandy? Mandy that is yellow. Yellow. Not Mamaro. And now we, you can compare, there's no comparison now. Yes. What are you saying? I, I'm not a street girl, I'm not a street uh, girl. My, my, my yes. dad, my I, dad I, is a senator or governor. My, my dad is a, I, a, a for governor. real? Girl! Mm -mm 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 -mm. In fact, I have to visit my village. Hmm. All I know is that. No. That girl is definitely collecting our shine. I have to go to my village if it's like this. But it's fine. What is it? <coughs> yeah. I'm ready for Monday. She will know. I I forgot to tell you, my mom called earlier and she said She that right. She's fine. She just said that I should help her run an errand. Yes, and I want to go right now, like right now. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow because I, I'm not coming back tonight. How? See me to come on, it's late already. That thing can wait tomorrow and I must do it this night. Messi, you know how my mom is. I'm not ready for her troubles. So I'll see you tonight. Let me go and change. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Set to go. Yeah. Like for real, Esther. What happened? You mean you're going to run an errand for your mom dressed like this? Come on, girl. If you're going to see a man, spill it out. Say it already. Okay, okay, that's enough. What what is wrong with you? Like, I like what I'm wearing and there is nothing wrong with it. Yes. Okay. I'll see you. Um, so, are, are you coming back today? Like tonight? Mm. Anyway, it depends. Oh, really? <laughs> it depends. It depends on what? Okay, I get it. You're going to see a man. Fine. Esther, what is wrong with you? Since when have you started hiding things from me? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mercy, I won't take that. You're being too suspicious. What's that? There is no man. There is no man on ground. So relax. If okay. there is anyone, I will definitely tell you. Okay? Oh, really? See ya. Catch ya later. Take care of yourself, okay? Make sure you lock the door.
You see, um, I'm not cool with this, our new relationship. Why? I mean, I don't know how Messi will feel if she gets to find out that I didn't even waste time in jumping into a relationship with you. You know my boyfriend just traveled abroad and you're having issues with our friend Mandy. She, she, she might, she might think that um, I, I, I betrayed Mandy. Betrayed? How can you say a thing like that? Uh, have you forgotten I was hitting on you before your boyfriend traveled? I know, but immediately Mandy came into the picture. You, you, you forgot about me. Fine, I know I was the one that hooked you guys up. But come on, it was just a mere hookup. And you took things serious with her. I didn't even expect that. Okay. Have you forgotten what you told me? You told me not to continue with disturbing you because you will never accept me because you have a boyfriend. But because you, you like our friendship, you would like to introduce your friend to me. And when I saw Mandy, let's be sincere, Mandy is very beautiful. No man will see her without, you know, trying to get more serious with her or, or something like that. Okay, I get, I get it now. I'm the ugly one, right? I think no, I, I have didn't to be say on my you're own. ugly. I only said we're just having a conversation. I didn't say you're ugly. Of course, you're pretty. Hmm? Hey, stop. Hmm? You're pretty. You don't have to make a mountain out of a molehill. We're just talking. Hmm? Of course, you're pretty. You are. You're pretty. Hmm? It's okay. Hello, Amy. Hi, Mandy. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. So, how is the village? The village is fine. Just that I am so bored and lonely. <laughs> oh, I wish there's something I could do. I'm sorry. Um, have you heard from my mom since I left? Have you seen her? Yes, sir. She's, she's fine. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Hello, are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, um... Have you been able to speak with Billy G? Oh, you mean Billy G? No, not yet. And it's all your fault. But I'm forgiving you, though. I intend to apologize to him when I leave here. Can we talk about ourselves? I, I miss you a lot. No, 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 we can't. Don't worry, I'll call you when I leave here, okay? Don't worry, I Hey! Let me call you back up. I'm here, baby! Hey. What's going on? Are you cooking? Yes. Are not done? Um, I'm almost done. Don't worry, just feel the last. Okay? I'm very hungry. Oh, make yourself comfortable. Okay. okay. Thank you. Let me get you the food, baby. Sure. I just um, went to the kitchen not quite long. The, the top of the kitchen is running. It's not running. So come and help me out. <laughs> Alright, let me check it out. Okay. 
How did you get in here? So you couldn't wait to get rid of me before switching over to her? Have you forgotten I have the keys to the house? You know, I actually came here to explain to you the reason for my lies. And to ask for your forgiveness. But obviously there is no point. You are busy. It's obvious this did not start today. I wish you both good luck. <sighs> ah. Such a bold step. She was sincere enough to have come. What do you mean? I mean, she just acknowledged the fact that she lied to you. Well, I don't want to know. Of course she needs to acknowledge, because it's obvious now she's lying. Okay. Please, just make sure you get my key from her. Okay. Please. And she has moved on with her life. I am myself, I'm trying to do this end. Okay? Please. I don't care, I don't care if she come in here to, to, to bring up that holier than thou attitude. Of course we all know she lied. I don't even know why she came. competition with her but how am I sure that you're not going to dump me for her this one that she's trying to make up with you please you don't have to worry about that are you sure hmm? are you sure of course okay you help me with the water. Forget about Monday. The history now. Monday, what is it? What is it? Why are you leaving the flat angrily? If there's any problem, you know you can talk to me. Please talk to me. When Etta gets back, ask her why I left the flat. Listen, I might like money a lot. I must have told a lot of lies, but I can defend myself. But what I am not, I am not a backstabber. I am done with this flat. I'm done with this friendship. I'm done with whatever relationship I'm out of here. Please. <laughs> Mandy, please, you can talk to me. You can, you know you can talk to me. Please don't go. Mandy. Mandy. What is going on? Esther. What have you done? Esther, what is wrong with you? How could you? How could you do that to Mandy? Listen, the reason Billy G professes love to you is because he misses Mandy. Oh, How could you fall so cheap? Oh, please. So I can as if I threw myself at him. I did not. Yes, you did. If you did not throw yourself at him, then what did you do? My goodness. I think the best thing for you to do is to look for solutions and not sitting there to judge me. Really? Yes. Look for solutions for you? To justify what you did? I knew it. When you were sneaking around, wearing all sorts of stupid things. I knew you were up to something. I knew you were seeing a man. What are you thinking? What will your boyfriend think when he finds out that you, you are seeing another person? Oh, please! Don't even give me that look. Don't give me that crap, okay? Save it! What, what, what is all this? Okay, you want me to sit down and start acting like a reverend sister or because my boyfriend traveled abroad. Who knows what he's doing over there? He might be banging all those white ladies abroad. Really? Yes! This guy in question calls you every day. So Morning and night he calls you. If you're looking for anybody to warm your bed, certainly not Billie Jean. Have you forgotten so soon that you are the person that hooked them up? Oh, 
thank goodness you know. <laughs> I'm so happy you remembered I was the one that hooked them up. Yes, I did. Now, let me tell you the truth, girlfriend. I hooked them up then because my boyfriend was still around. Mm -hmm. Have you forgotten how Billy G had been on my neck when my boyfriend was still around? Have you forgotten? And now that my boyfriend has traveled out of Nigeria, I am aiming to take what is rightfully mine. So that is why you justified it. For you to sleep with your friend's boyfriend. Like for real? You're so pathetic. You disgust me. You are not sent! You are not sent! Look at this one though. See, see, see this one though. Move this one. So I'm trying to sleep with you. Now I'm trying to sleep with you. Sweet my baby tree. Everything that happened. See this one. So I'm going to sleep with you. Because I'm going to sleep with you. Like, like. Not, 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 not even in this house. Eh? Esther is a snake. She couldn't even wait for me to dump Billy G before jumping into bed with him. My only regret now are the things I've told them. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. She might even go and tell Billy G. So, where are you now since you're not in the flat? I'm in my apartment. Oh, so sad. The next time you have to keep things to yourself. Yeah, you're right on that. I've been thinking about that all day. Anyways, this will only make me more ruthless. I told you that I am sorry about that. You don't have to be a bit more ruthless. You see, you have to purge yourself of that quest of making more money. It has gotten to a time where you have to build a solid relationship with a guy. No, I have to make more money. More money! If Billy G could jump into bed with Esther, then men are not to be trusted. Imagine me blaming myself that I messed up. Anyways, this has toughened me up. I will make more money. Amaka. I won't back you up on this one. you make things worse for yourself. Hmm. Who cares? Please. Talk to you later. More money. More money. Men are not to be trusted. Stupid girl. <laughs> Listen, that's not my problem, okay? No, it's not. No, it's not like that. You know, I told you to send me your candy test yesterday, but you didn't. But it's okay. You know, money is not the problem here. My problem with people is to be honest to be sincere sincerity is the first thing you should learn when you're going into business there are people that can give you an amount of money you want to do something for them but if you're not sincere you cannot get it yes if you want to win more contracts work with more people have more clients you must you must be sincere to them. So paying you any amount you want to do something for me is not my problem. I don't have problems with that. But you being sincere, telling me that you will deliver it today and today, today, I will get it. That's the best thing. That's the best way to get jobs from any rich man. Yeah, you must be sincere to them. But it's okay. Just forward your account details. I will, I, will, I will send you the money now. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you later. It's okay.
What is it? Seriously, you didn't tell me you're a good chef. Oh, I'm not a chef. In fact, I don't like cooking. I usually don't cook, but Lizzie kept on telling me, try and cook for your man, try and cook for your man. So I decided to try this one out. So how is it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Is it nice? <laughs> I can see a very big difference from the food I've been eating in South Africa. You see this one? This is the best. Wow. So this is palatable. <laughs> Lizzie needs to hear this. Oh my God. Just hold on, just hold on, just hold on. I need to let her know. Ah. Hey, babe. What's up? I just made a very palatable meal for Kelly here. <laughs> really? Nazi. I would not believe what Kelly tells you. You know why? He's mad over you, so anything he says. It's under durex. <laughs> no, I was like, I have to taste that food myself first before I can tell you anything. I would taste that food first. Seriously. <laughs> hmm. You are not. I actually tested it myself before seeking Kelly's opinion. <laughs> Naughty girl. Okay, fine. Do you know you have issues with your test bond? Uh huh. So, uh, listen, I won't say congratulations to you yet. Until I taste the food. In fact, I'm coming to taste that food myself before I give you a pass mark. Okay? In that case, you will not taste this food. Bye. But you, 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 you won't do. Mandy, you will not do that. You dare not. Like, stupid girl. <laughs> Is it not good you get with me? <laughs> eat up, eat up. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm fine. <laughs> it's okay. Let me enjoy the meal. Please do. I love you so much. In fact, since I came back from South Africa, you're the only thing, in fact, the best thing that's been happening to me. Mm -hmm. I will never regret coming back to Nigeria because of you. You are the best. <laughs> right now, you're my life. You're my joy, you're my happiness, you're every good thing that I want to see. Every day, every day, every day I want to see you. I want to look into these eyes. I want to look at it and read the beauties. <laughs> Your smile makes my heart gladden. It makes my hair stand. <laughs> Thank you for loving me. And I love you too. I love you so much. You're the best. You're my life. Same here, baby. I didn't expect you to leave after the two weeks. 
You never picked my calls and neither did you return them. Sorry I ran away from you without any explanation. I had a bad experience with my ex-boyfriend. I needed time alone to clear my head. You left me in a limbo. I didn't know what was going on. I was hurt. Sorry to hurt you is not my intention. However, our two weeks deal is over. Yes, I'm aware of that. But did you get the balance as I promised? Oh, that. Yes, I did. Sorry, I never called. I should have. It's okay. Well, um, I didn't think I'll see myself sitting here asking you to be my girlfriend. Especially knowing that you broke off with your boyfriend. The two weeks I spent with you were the best moments of my life. Where do I stand now with you? Look, Andrew, you are a nice guy. And every girl would die to be your girlfriend. But right now, I don't think I'm ready for any relationship. I'm not ready for this. I'm scared. What are you scared of? Have I not proven myself? Yes, you have. So was my ex until I caught him with one of my bosom friends. Who is this stupid ex of yours? Huh? He must be very stupid to cheat on you. Look, Mandy, I will never treat you that way. I need you in my life. I can't live without you. Can't you see? Don't give me any excuses. Please, please, I'm, I'm, I'm not ready for this. I need time. Time? What time are you talking about? Don't tell me the two weeks that we spent together means nothing to you. Are you that mean? No, I'm not. It's just that... Okay. I'll be your girlfriend. Say that again. Say that again. I said <laughs> I'll be your girlfriend. That's what I'm talking about. Come here. Mm. You know what? What? I want you to move in with me. Oh, 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 oh. no, 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 no. Andrew, don't do this. Don't do this, please. What? I just agreed to be your girlfriend. We're not married yet. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You want marriage? You want to be married? Look, I will give you the best wedding ever. Okay, come here. No, no, no. What? That's not what I'm talking about. Listen, we will, we've spent two weeks together of intimacy. I mean, we need time to discuss this. Marriage is not a, a Can't chance you see play. how desperate I am to have you? This man right here, he's so desperate. Oh, you want me to show you how desperate I am? You want me to show you how desperate I am? You want me to show you? Okay, now let's do this. Let's do this. I'm taking you right there to let you know. Babe. Yes? It's been a while I heard you talk about your proposed cosmetic business. What happened? Yeah, that's because my ex cancelled the idea. He feels it's too capital intensive. Mm. Right now, I really do not know what to do. Mm. But come on. You are one of the top guys in the corporate business world here in Nigeria. So you should have an idea. What do you think I should do? Well, I actually loved your idea, but if you're giving me the permission to come up with something for you, sure, I'll gladly do that. Baby, come on. I'm giving you the permission. Please do. You got it. I will. Okay? okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> right now, I have things to do tomorrow. I need to sleep. Okay. okay. 
Come to bed. <clears throat> but I'm in bed. No, you're not. Look, from now till forever, my body is your bed. So, come. <laughs> okay. Come here. <laughs> Sleepy head. Good morning. What's the time? You're dressed already. Yes. Oh my god, and I've not made breakfast. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Don't worry about it. You seem very tired. I will eat when I get to the office, okay? <laughs> Hell no, there's no way I would let you leave this house with empty stomach. My mother trained me well. Forgive me, I left my phone in the living room. Where are you now? Don't worry, I'll make it up to you, okay? I'll see you this evening. I said I'll see you this evening. <laughs> Bad boy, I know you would. <laughs> Alright then, catch ya. Kiss, kiss. Enjoy your meal. A lot of things to do today. Oh, um, it's okay. It's fine. Ah, this is so nice. I know, right? Delicious. <laughs> Can't say that again. All right, baby. Mm, enjoy your meal while going to the kitchen to clean up your place. Okay. All right. Sure. Thank you. so much. I love you too. You are an epitome of beauty. Whenever I look at you, the, your beauty makes my hair stand. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, looking at you alone can make any man 
go out of this world. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh. You're beautiful. Thank you. You are the best thing that is happening to me. And you will continue to be the best because with you, my life is complete. Hmm. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. You are so good with words, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, baby. Yes, love. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Come on, you're free. What is it? Um. Have you ever dated Lizzie? Or are you guys dating? Lizzie? Come on, no. No, not at all. We've not. We've not even thought of, thought of that. Lizzie has been my friend for 15 years now. I've known her for 15 years now. She has been my confidant. In fact, Whenever I'm finding something difficult or I want an advice, I get it from her. That's right. And when she wants to, she gets from me. So we've not thought of dating. No? We've not. Okay, Why do you ask? because I'm a little bit confused how she could allow you ask me out. Yeah, it's normal. It's normal, I think, because she wants my happiness and she believes that you are the only person that can make me happy. Mm. Don't you think she likes you and would want you to be a lover? No, I don't think so because I I know her man. Oh, oh okay. Okay, that's fine then. Don't tell me you're jealous, baby. I'm just curious. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> not, baby. It's okay, I'm just kidding. So, the important thing here now is that you're sitting with me and I am smiling, talking, enjoying this damn cell. Right? Yes. Monday, I love you. I love you too. You're the best. I know. Thank you. <laughs> Lest I forget, baby. Tell me, how are you planning to spend the rest of your day? Oh, my day. Uh -huh. I plan to spend my day. Wait. What? <laughs> oh my god. Seriously, you mean you want us to stay together all through today? Yes, I'm all yours, baby. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy for that. Please. I will not be bored. Yeah, you won't we'll, be bored. We'll be together all through today. We'll cook together. I'll show you that I can cook too. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You don't believe it? I do. Sure? <laughs> yes. I'll cook better than you. Okay. We'll yeah, see. let's not forget. I... Guess. I'm not good at guessing. Try, yes. baby. I'm not good at guessing, for real. Fine, I'll tell you. I'll be going on vacation in Spain. Mm. Okay. No problem. Really? Is that all you want you say? No problem. I'll miss you. Are you sure? Of course. You miss me? I will miss you. Okay. Ah, that was actually what I was waiting to hear from you. No, you're not gonna miss me. But rather. We'll go together. Wait. 
Yes. Did I just hear you say something? I said, this beautiful dancer sitting there before me is going to spend with me. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we are. There's no help. Hello, Nne. Now I'm fine. I am no more sick. I don't have to go, Mumma. Oh, God will bless you for me. Adam. <laughs> Mama, thank God I've been able to reach you. Uh-uh. Because of you, I keep calling a maker. Mama, why are you not taking your calls? Oh. No, I'm sorry, oh. I'm very sorry. You know, it is because of the drugs I'm taking. I thought it was a good thing. I thought it was a good thing. I thought it was a good thing. I thought it I'm sorry. And that time, I will not know where I dropped my phone. Oh, Mama, it's a small phone now. Tie it on your wrapper. Or put it in your purse. Eh? Just imagine, I've not been able to talk to you since, since I left the village. It's not fair now, Mama. I'm sorry. No, yo, yo. I'm I'm sorry, oh. Huh? So, how are you and the man we are working for? Mama, I'm doing fine. City is fine. As for that rich man, I don't work with him again. Ah, ah. Oh, guinea man. What happened? <laughs> Mama, don't worry. I work with richer men now. <laughs> Mama, with my current situation now, <laughs> you will really know that poverty has left our lives. Oh. Eh, hey, what up, guy? What up, guy? Oh, yeah, but one, but one. That's it. Mama, we do. I'm seeing it now. I'll soon go to Obodo Ibo. <laughs> Obodo Ibo? You? Abroad? <laughs> eh? Mata is closed. Amen. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. And hey, Mama, please, always be with your phone, eh? And take your drugs, please, so that I can be able to reach you, you know? Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to take care, oh. Call you later. Be with your phone, no. I don't want to call a maker again all the time because I want to talk to you, please. Guano, bye-bye, oh. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Eh? Obodo Ibo. My daughter. Hey! My love. Sweetheart. Statement, baby. I want you to enjoy your life. Oh, make sure you enjoy it in Marbella. Oh. Have you heard of Marbella? 
Yes, yes, yes. In I, Spain? Yes, I am. I will make sure you lodge in one of the best resorts in Spain. Oh, baby. You enjoy Europe. Oh, baby, you just, you just want to spoil me. Kill me, baby. <laughs> Kill me, baby. Oh, my God, baby. Yes, no. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so I don't get it. I gave you everything. I gave you things that you didn't ask for. Why can't you spend the whole week to ourselves? Baby, I love you so much and I'm sorry I have not spent a lot of time with you. I didn't mean to. Just that I have a lot of projects going on right what now. What projects are you talking about? Huh? Tell me, what projects are you talking about? The idea I gave you, you've done nothing about it. You're telling me you, you're working on a lot of projects. Mandy, are, are you seeing another man? Why are you saying this to me? Why are you saying all this? Is it because I told you I'm, I'm, I'm to go to Spain with my aunt? Is that why you're saying this? You're going to Spain. And where's that even coming from? You asked me to buy you a small apartment, which I have, and suddenly you have to go to Spain with your auntie. Please, just please stop this. Stop this. Don't make me look like a liar. I told you some months ago that I would be going to Spain, didn't I? Yes, you did, but you came back telling me that that trip was cancelled. Instead, you pleaded with me to get you a small apartment, which I have. Mandy, what are you not telling me? Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I hurt you. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, but... Listen, I can stay back if you don't want me to go for this trip. I can stay and take care of you. But I would love to go. I will. If my father had accepted us, all this wouldn't be happening. I wouldn't even think of going to Spain with my aunt. This is all because of my father, the former governor. Hey, it's English. okay. It's it's fine. It's okay. It's fine. Um, I know how much this means to you, and I don't want to deny you the chance. My problem is we've been dating for some time now, and I still don't feel fully accepted. Baby, I understand, but don't worry. When I get back from Spain, you'll be the one begging me to leave your side. You promise? But you're sleeping here tonight. And you have to make me that special local soup you promised. Okay. I will. Anything for you. Thank you, baby. Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What are you thinking? You know what I'm thinking. You don't look your best. Hey, talk to me, what is it? Surprisingly, he never asked what happened with my boyfriend. Yes, um, I deliberately didn't ask. Actually, I wanted you to leave him for me. When I proposed, you didn't say anything about him, so I figured you're all mine. 
Well, you're right. You see, like I said before, I never thought I would fall in love. When you proposed, I said yes. I can't wait to be your wife. <laughs> wait. Are you serious? So I... I can go and see your people? Exactly. Baby, I have overcome my fear of being married. And baby... I can't wait to be your wife. Hi babe, where are you? You're taking so much time. Everything is set. We're waiting for you and your people. Where are you? I didn't know you were such a bad person. What have you tried done to prove my love? You know, I don't think I can spend the rest of my life with a liar and a dishonest person like you. I thought you loved me. Little did I know that you were just a play actor after my money. Now you listen to me. I am very aware of all your escapades with men. I don't understand. Baby, what are you talking about? Does Billy G, Kelly, Philip and Stephen ring a bell? <laughs> Baby, who is feeding you with all these lies? Who is feeding you with all these lies? Baby. Happy married life, Amaka Obiora Okochi. Hello, Mandy. Why is everywhere quiet? There's, there's no sound of music or... How, how did the marriage ceremony go? I, I guess um, Andrew listens to my advice, right? It will never be well with you. You are a devil. It will never be well with you. You are a wolf in sheep clothing. You are a devil. I promise you, it will never be well with you. <coughs> so if you call me a devil, what would you call yourself? Hmm? Well, I just called to tell you congratulations on, um, should I say, a successful marriage. Or should I say yet yeah, to be successful marriage? I don't know, but I just got to know, of course, how the whole thing went. Hmm? God will judge you! God will judge you! It will never be well with you! It will never be well with you! God will judge you! God will judge you! <laughs> My girl. This 
She has money in mind 